Hey guys, welcome. Let me know whenever uh, you guys can hear me. I'm like so excited for this, but I'm kind of nervous too. I feel like I've been looking forward to this game so long that like, I don't know, man, you ever feel like, uh, you know, you like are worried you overhype something in your mind? <laughs> I think a lot of people are saying this is pretty good though, so I'm excited to try it. Um, but yeah, welcome. Cool, you guys can see me. I think you guys should be able to hear me too. <laughs> yeah, so somebody was like, I wonder who Weeby will give the Kazuna voice to. It's it's too powerful. I can't I can't give it any, I can't give it to anybody anymore, guys. I'm just cursing them. <laughs> and it's wrong. It's freaking wrong. I think I already changed the options, so hopefully the volume sounds good with the voices. Oh wow, uh chat do be moving pretty fast. I guess uh, Mazel can just let me know if we need to slow it down a little bit. Or I think y'all can do that now, too. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited, too. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just looking forward to this game, too. How many of you guys have played it? And also, yes, please, no spoilers in chat. Um, I think I saw Bree mention that, so I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pin that. But yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks for the happy birthdays. I think I saw some of that. I know the music's so good, too. It kind of does reminds me of Tonga Rampa a little bit, you know, already. Just like that. But yeah, we'll see uh, how this goes. Thank you, Maury. Thanks for being a member for 20 months. Woo, this is going to be amazing. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say that uh, they think I'll like this a lot. So, man, I hope so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited. I guess we can go ahead and just start. Playing currently, currently deep in. It's pretty good. That's good. No one just let me know if the volume's good. I think it should be okay, but okay. And hopefully we don't get copyright striked. <laughs> it seemed like it was a little sensitive with that. Magic book. Cool. Yeah, I kept seeing him hold that in like the promotional art. I think he like loses memories or something for some reason. Ah, it's like the Necronomicon or something. <laughs> oh, look! A human! It's been a while! <sighs> Breaking the third wall already! Anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Her voice sounds familiar. Let's see... All right, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Oh. <laughs> Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Okay, well, now I guess it makes more sense while we're breaking the third wall. <laughs> the options. Yay, lenient, mean, troublesome, ad adorable. <laughs> um, wait, what's like medium? Troublesome or lenient, maybe? Maybe I should do troublesome. I think mean's probably like super difficult. Kind of just seems like it's out of order. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably do troublesome. I guess I can read some of these donos too since they just flew by when I started the game. Y'all can let me know your recommendations too, but like, I think I'm, maybe I'm just overestimating myself. Like I think I can do a little bit harder, right? I've played a lot of dangy grandpa. Thank you, Fallen Redditor, member for six months. Which character will we be telling to slay today? All of them. All of them, probably at some point. Thank you, someone unknown. And I'm glad every title screen has a banger. I know, right? I was thinking that too. I was like, man, it's gonna be a lot to compete with process of elimination, but it's still, it's it's holding its own, I gotta say. Thank you, Kiru. Hi, Weeby, hope you enjoy the game. Get ready. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I'm trying to. Thank you, Crocomancer. Hi, Weeby, so hyped for this. I know you don't have a victim killer survivor, but do you have any other predictions for the game? Not really. Uh, I've been trying to avoid the trailers, honestly, for a little while, just because, like, I don't know, I kind of felt for a while they were getting a little too spoiler. <laughs> like, her eyes, like, follow along. She's kind of cute, honestly. Ador <laughs> adorable. Y'all are really saying adorable? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, adorable super hard mode? Really? Okay, so is it, like, lenient, mean, troublesome, and then adorable's the super... <laughs> Or wait, Troublesome's the most difficult? What? <laughs> what are y'all talking about, man? I have no idea. I'm so confused now. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, thank you, Lucky Cat Luna. I uh, hope you will enjoy the game. I'm watching a stream with my Shinigami plushie. Oh, nice. Man, I wish I got one. I got the deluxe thing, but it didn't come in. That's probably the hardest mode. That's hilarious. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do Troublesome. <sighs> lenient. Is Lenient normal? Is that it? Uh, maybe, should I just do... 
Adorable, super difficult. <laughs> okay, we'll just do lenient. Fine, I won't overestimate oh, myself. You sure about that? Adorably hard. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Why do you have to make this so confusing, Najunko? Mm -hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? Oh. The one you selected is how difficult yours truly oh. will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. No. I can see why it's honest, restart the game if I need to change it's it. It's all the same no matter what you pick. <laughs> I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner. To be adorable all, no matter what. So, are you ready? Do you want to start for real? <laughs> Do you seriously want to start? <laughs> so you're about to get a lot of emotional trauma. For real? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You can decide if you want to start or not. Okay, for realsies, girly. Oh my god. I'm not gonna tell you to slay. Really although I really it. want to. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? It kind of seems like it. Maybe this difficulty choice didn't matter. <laughs> are She's just so trolling weird. me. Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. Let's go! Oh, man. Yeah, she seems pretty interesting so far. I like her little ghost form. It's pretty cute. She's definitely suspicious, and not just because she looks like Junko. <laughs> She's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Oh, we get an opening? Massacre on the Amaratsu Express. Yeah, I remember Amaratsu was like the evil corporation that controls the city. I do feel like some of the story for this kind of seems similar to Akudama Drive, the anime that they came out with somewhat recently. But hopefully this is better than that. <laughs> I wasn't the biggest fan of Akudama Drive. I think it will be. I think Kadaka shines more with games. And sorry guys, I'll read the uh, donations once I get to a good uh, stopping point. I was like, she just decides randomly to possess this guy. I guess he could have signed a contract unknowing, oh, like, and then unknowingly, like, sold a soul on? or something. W wait. Huh? Where am I? <laughs> Ow. It did kind of seem like she was, like, in the Shinigami realm or something. I think she mentioned she's a Shinigami leader. Who? <laughs> what? Who's that handsome? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming, yeah. I feel like it would make sense if he signed his memories away to like help his family or something like that. I guess we'll see. He's probably secretly evil or something. <laughs> That's always my guess with uh, <gasps> with uh, like plot twists in games. Okay, I guess I can uh, try to read some of these since I got a few other ones. Thank you guys for being so generous too. And doo -doo. okay, I got that one. Thank you, Kage Kage. I'm so upset I'm not able to watch fully. It's been forever since I've been able to catch one live, catch one live since I've been catching up on DRA, SDRA2, DR Labs. Hope Rain Code is amazing. Have a great time. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'm gonna be mostly streaming this on the weekends. I just kind of wanted to start earlier since uh, originally I was gonna stream on Sunday, but then I didn't get my copy in, and I was worried about copyright, blah blah blah. So I just wanted to kind of like stream it a little earlier. You know what I mean? Thank you, another professional. Welcome to Rain Code. Weebie, quick heads up that some of the cutscenes in this game don't have great lip sync with the English dub as it is sync with the Japanese dub. I hope everyone here, I hope everyone here and you enjoy the game. Thank you so much. I think I did see some people mention that like in my discord or something, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not too, too bad. I guess we'll see. Thank you, Dara. I hate confusing people, David. <laughs> that do be, that do be David. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Okay. Huh? Why? How? I can't remember anything. I love the little question mark, Hoge. Does that mean? Do oh, I have... are cool too. What was it called? Amnesia. Uh, all right, calm down. <laughs> Take a deep breath. It looks like the Kamaru sprite. She had a sprite like that too. <sighs> <laughs> Try the meditation. <laughs> Yeah, kind of hard to calm it. down from that. I can't remember anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Where did I get these awesome ass shoes from? Inside your pocket. 
Oh, she could be like in my brain the whole time too. I guess that makes sense. Huh? Check your belongings. Wh who's there? <laughs> She's like whispering in the corner. Check your belongings. <laughs> Just pretending to be in your brain. Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. <laughs> What's going on? Gone crazy. Ow. Uh Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. <laughs> but what did she mean by that? Hmm. Huh. Must be a riddle. An a little robot on the back. Okay. Notice. <laughs> I love his name, Coco Head. You're here by dispatch to the special autonomous zone Kanai award. Dispatch duration indefinite world detective okay yeah so he is a part of the detective organization already he's then close to get aboard the Amaratsu express to Kane ward rendezvous with the master detectives on site get to know them before they die upon arrival proceed to the nocturnal detective agency world detective Kane world branch will receive further instructions world detective organization human resources dear yuma coco head you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous zone of Kane ward dispatch duration Indefinite. It's not ominous at all. <laughs> Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. I can't believe his last name's Coco Head. It'd be kind of funny if she uh she gave him like a fake name. It's like how would he know the difference? Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Mm. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. I'm also sussing out the World Detective Organization. I just, I don't know, man. There was like that one. <laughs> Why am I so against old men? <laughs> That's like that with process of elimination, too. I'm already like, because there was like one old man who looks like so evil in this game. I remember, oh yeah, Prost D voice acts him, too. You I'm excited to see his performance for him as well. <laughs> He's like, is that really my name, man? <laughs> Damn it. That's my name? <laughs> Can I change it? Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. I do be a dumbass. That's right. <laughs> I finally remember. My name is Yuma. I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> Are you really remembering? Are you just being Delulu right now? Ah, the little blood splatter. Is the blood still pink in this game? I feel like it might be. I can't remember if I saw anything about that, though. But what's this about a world detective organization? It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case... Damn, he doesn't remember anything. Do you even remember, like, what the world is like at all? Am I a detective? Dang. Some intense amnesia. I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. <laughs> yeah, it must be true. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least, I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Oh yeah, it is Kibo's voice actor, isn't it? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Aw, I love Kibo. Here's the ticket. Best boy. Let's check the schedule. I already, I already stand Coco Head then. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. That's so creepy to think about. Yeah, it's like if you forgot your memory, people could just tell you whatever they want about, like, who you are. Attention! Oh, okay, cool. Basic controls. Before rushing out the train, let's start with some basic controls. Walk around and explore the room. Okay, character controls left. Camera controls right. A to inspect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I recommend... Oh. <laughs> Should I give her the Kazuna voice? I feel like it kind of does fit. Surely she's not going to die chapter two. I don't want to put that on her. Oh, yeah. I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Oh, places with an examination marker can be expect inspected. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. Okay. Interesting. I guess this is going to pop up. It's not have, like a cursor I can really move, I don't think. You can fast forward and auto advance through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. But why would you skip it, doofus? Okay, I'll read some more uh, donations. Man, you are so generous today. I guess it has been a while since the stream last. Let me um, pull some stuff up. 
Let's see. Uh, thank you, Candy Dude 68 Here we go again. Can't wait to see this progress. Progress. Yes, me too. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Yuma is Nike's kid. Has Hajime like... Uh, has amnesia like Hajime. His sprites are like Kamaru. He's a detective like Shuichi and shares a VA with Kibo. Pro oh my god, why is that so real? <laughs> oh, man, you can tell that Kadaka has a... He has a type for sure for a protagonist. Thank you, Sandra. Hi, Weeby. I'm glad I managed to catch your stream live for the first time. Hope you have a great time with Rinko. Thank you. I hope so too. Thank you, Brie. Yuma's last name reminds me of the coconut song from the Gummy Bear album from years ago. I can't hear it any other way. Please help. Oh god, now you're making me think of Kim Petras' song, Coconuts. My coconuts. I love that song. It's so catchy. Thank you, Finastro. I guess Weeby just hates the elderly. It's just because I am them, you know? I just hate myself. It's internalized ageism you know it's it hurts it hurts me more than it hates them and thank you Mads Weeby don't hate people in your own age bracket I just I can't help I can't help it man I can't help it I just hate myself so much okay I think we're uh, good then Gotta stay in that detective mindset. oh I get some more Detective points can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigation and gathering info. Okay, I guess you need that to like finish a section or something probably. Sure, hope you got all that down. <laughs> sure, hope you got all that down. I like her voice too. Earning DP increases the detective a rank. Maybe something cool will happen when their ring goes up. I don't know, maybe. Oh, because to like earn levels. Don't you forget. Do I don't know if it really helps too much though. <laughs> <laughs> like when you gain levels in Danganronpa, I kind of, I don't know, I don't think it really helped that much. Icons in the minimap mark the next object and or people to talk with. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so it is just popping up. This is nice. Look at this. Well, not this shack, but the controls are nice. Okay, let's go ahead. Am I close enough? Hand mirror. I see myself. I'm still not mm. used to this. Not used to being a person, same bro, same. It really be like that. Okay, cardboard box. This is. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna actually read it. Okay, I was kind of wondering how voice acted this was gonna be. There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. Maybe I should give him more of a Kokichi voice. He's kind of young. He's just a little guy. But it's too dark to make anything out. He's not gonna be a little shit like Kokichi though. <laughs> Maybe I'll just make it like a little, you know, a little bit. Okay, I guess we'll just investigate anything. Can we like steal this stuff? Oh my god, robot! Aw! Look, Kibo, it's you! Look! Oh my god! A toy robot? <laughs> it looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Aw, can we take him? I want a little robot buddy! You have any memories of this? Any memories coming back, Kibo? Kibo? Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Ooh, fedora. We gotta get that that drip. The Why Reddit mod drip. Are there so many umbrellas. The label reads lost items temporary storage. Okay. So we can steal these, right? <laughs> That's fine. I won't tell you to steal anything mm -hmm. else. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. I better not go back there. Come on, let's wreak have it. A little bit, man. Come on. Okay, cool. Can I ranked up already. I guess, uh, can I just keep investigating <sighs> these things? That's my reflection in the mirror. I still don't recognize myself. <laughs> I'm so kawaii, though. Is this really my face? I can't remember at all. Okay, I guess that's interesting. Let's keep checking until... This is... Seeing it's inside the cardboard box, but I have no idea what. I shouldn't go around opening them. I'll leave them alone. Okay, well... I don't think you get extra points for looking at these again. What about the robot? Can I get any, like, special dialogue from him? This is... The toy robot looks sturdy. An attached piece of paper reads, lost items. He's looking for a home! Come on, man! Let's adopt him! I wonder if it moves. I want to find out, but I guess I shouldn't touch it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. This is... Ah, damn it. <laughs> I was not going to do it. So I was hoping there'd be more dialogue. Okay, fine. We won't have a robot friend. Whatever. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... Oh, it looks like a, I guess a train station or something? I thought we were on a bus already. Or I mean a train. The station's lost and found. A pawn shop. A gym storage. That's right. I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. But okay, why cool. was I sleeping here? I wonder how the detective points are gonna 
come in handy. I guess we might get like unlock, be able to unlock abilities and stuff with them, maybe. Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. <laughs> For reasons. Because a note told me to. That is freaky, man. I feel like that is kind of a common trope, you know, in games. Like, oh, I have amnesia. I can't remember anything, but it's kind of, I don't know, freaky the idea of like people like telling you like, oh, this is, this is you. This is what you remember. I played like an Atome game that was like that. And it was kind of creepy because depending on like what guy you like romance, they would all tell you like different things. Like, no, I was your boyfriend. No, I was your boyfriend. It was like, <laughs> it's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> One of them was like really insane too. That was the whole reason I played it. <laughs> oh, the cutscenes are good. The, not the toxic gossip train! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, God. I'm dead. I can't believe, I can't believe somebody put that in chat already. <laughs> I was just watching videos on that this morning. You made it in time! Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Damn, Direct this is to good. Ward. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. Okay, not even like a train driver? I guess it's like really advanced technology. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. Just runs solely on toxic gossip. <laughs> Damn, man, that is some advanced technology. Runs solely on the on the toxic gossip. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Okay. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. Ooh, this might be where we meet the detectives. I think the scene was in like a train. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. I wonder if this game's gonna get into like the dangers of AI or something since we it seems so futuristic. We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars this must be car one at the front. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this. Okay. <laughs> if we use this. That's kind of weird all the way she said it. The notebook menu has features and info useful for investigations. When info gets updated, it will be marked with a new marker. Okay. Up, down, left, right, confirm. Why? Okay, so why to open and close it? Yo, check, check. In the case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objective. Whoa, this stuff's vital. <laughs> Whoa. In save load file, current progress can be saved or the game can be started from save data. How convenient this modern world you is. You definitely want to remember this. You can save whenever master, oh, master, is able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions, so be careful. So he's like her master. I feel like it's probably not really going to really that. like that, though. In options, the game settings can be adjusted. Okay, cool. Cool. Easy enough. Okay, nice. If you're that lost, bit. why not check your notes? Oh, in case I was gonna see an outline of ongoing stuff. Yeah, girl, I saw that. Oh, okay. Yuma woke in a room, the train station with amnesia. His in his possession was a notice from the World Detective Organization. So his name and orders. On the Monster Express, we were evidently a number of master detectives who could solve could be considered Yuma's colleagues. Are any of them gonna remember us at all? Okay. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. It's just him so far, I'm right? Into your brain. <laughs> in profiles information the characters can be viewed. Pick a person to switch the information screen. Personal info is shown on the character information screen. New and updated info will be marked in the corresponding markers. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I love him. He's so adorable. Also, guys, um, my height was measured again recently. I'm actually 5'1". So I just want to dispel the rumors. The toxic gossip, you know, in the chat about me being five feet. It's not true. It's all lies and slander that's running this toxic gossip train right now as we speak. A master detective with amnesia. His small build is unsuitable for physical confrontation. 
<laughs> He's a weenie. A lack of self-confidence results in a tendency to frequently complain. Aww. However, he possesses a strong sense of justice and selflessly tries to help anyone in need. So he's a, a so Kenny is what I'm getting at. He's so cute though. We don't know. Did it say his age? I thought people say we saw people saying he was 13. Did it say his age or people just talking so about in the chat? Simple. I was like, I know he looks young. He looks like a little kid. In glossary, you can review in-game terminology, names of places and events that have happened. I see. Also, you can check my tutorials over and over again. Oh, okay, that'll be nice for probably like the main gameplay section or whatever. Whenever I want to remind myself of how to do stuff. Okay, cool. I think we're good here for now. I like the aesthetic so far. It looks really nice. Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> Look at his little smile. Is he 5'1"? <laughs> no, not 4'1". Stop it. Let's get some help. Oh, I can poop too. There's a Whoa. There's toilet inside. This must be the restroom. Truly the future of gaming right here. There's no one inside it right now. Okay. I guess even if it's not important stuff, you can still get points for investigating it. So it's kind of good to just be as a clean looking bed. There is this possible. Is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Okay. I'm as tall as Kokichi. Yeah, but I wear heels, so technically it's like I'm 5'2". It's a map of the train. Technically. <laughs> oh, okay. The first and nice. last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. That's going to be important, huh? Oh, he's 4'11"? I guess that makes sense. So second dining car, then room cars. Okay, they're probably in the dining car then. I would think so, at least. Nice. It says control. main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Hmm, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of scary. Isn't that supposed to be driving us right now? <laughs> but it's not on, not on, not on. Can I investigate that? Ah. Uh... Oh, I haven't looked at everything. That's uh, this uh, thing. Okay, I haven't looked at everything yet. I guess not. Did you? Uh, he's such a shy little guy. He's just a little guy. Huh? From where he seems locked, I can see inside through the window, but no one's there. I wonder why it's locked. What are people supposed to do if they get sick? What else? Okay, it's at the bottom over here. Can I run? Nope. Oh, I can zoom in on the map though. That's kind of cool. It says main control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The Need to machine see that for appears show. to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Driver's seats on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Okay, so we can reverse it if we need to. Oh. Probably gonna drive off a cliff or almost at some point. I kinda sounded like a real detective it, there. You know, whoa! It solved the mystery of the train, how trains work. It's wild, man. Fucking crazy. Okay. Well, that's nice. I guess uh, I guess there is no way to make him run, though. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Why do I expect him to run fast? He's just taking his little time. I don't know. I don't think so. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. Okay, yeah. Yay, meet everybody. There's that creepy old man I was talking about. Well, I guess most of them. I think there's still more that I saw in like the trailers and stuff. I mean, come on, doesn't he just look evil? Oh yeah, she was the one that had like the bunny pin on that I think personally looks like um, Usami. Although I had people arguing with me about it on Twitter. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're master detectives, aren't you? <laughs> what a fanboy. I just learned about this morning, but this is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> we are. But who are you? Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. I think, yeah, probably. A boy like you, master detective of the WDO. Is she voiced by Hagakure's mom? Is it the same voice actress? It's also familiar. Like it? 
Seems like it. <laughs> like hell, dumbass. <laughs> He's so sketch. Huh? <laughs> a runt like you, a master detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Oh, uh -uh, come on. Eater? <laughs> I don't look like an anteater. Come on. What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You want to die right here, right now? Uh, but I got a paper that told me I was one. W wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. Uh, I have proof that I'm a master detective. <laughs> it's like a random piece of paper printed off from, like, a Google document. They're like, this is fake, kid. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. <laughs> not much to explain. <laughs> 20 hours later. And that's what happened. Amnesia. I do like him. He seems like kind of the one I'm the most interested in. The furry guy. Looks that way. It's just, you know, I can relate to him so much. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That makes them seem a little less sketchy then, at least. That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? But I remembered. My name is Coco Head. Who else would claim that name? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Is his voice actor from one of the Danganronpa games too? Maybe like, uh, Bianchia? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even mm -hmm. knowing. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, look at him. He's like 10. Give him a break. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Okay, yay, introduction time. Nice. Okay, let me read some of these uh, donos too. I got a few that I missed. Let's see. Thank you, Lucky Cat. Oh, wait, I just realized Kibo can finally eat sushi. Got him. So I'm so happy for him. This is a big moment for him, guys. Thank you, Sleepy Boy. Let's go. I'm so excited for this game. Thank you so much. Me too. And thank you, Kage, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult. And thank you, uh, Jean Philip Johnson, for become, becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult. It's been a long time, I think, since I've talked to you, but thanks for uh, stopping by. Okay, we can continue. Let's meet this creepy ass old man. <laughs> You're just like the man in process of elimination. <laughs> that I thought was way more evil than he actually was. Uh. <laughs> okay, you think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna talk to me, bro? Is that it? Is that really all you gotta fucking say? <laughs> okay, good talk, man. Fine, I'll talk to one of my other besties first. We want to get to know you, whatever. What? That was a terrible angle. There we go. Any of y'all gonna talk to me? Okay, there we go. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra legal, extra privileged extra -legal. organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Extra privileged. I don't know, that sounds kind of weird too. Extra legal? <laughs> their branches exist throughout the world. And their investigations are handled by master detectives. Because I was thinking maybe, like, well, I can't remember. I don't know. It'll probably explain later. I can't remember if the trailer is explained or not. Like, how the Amarante Corporation might connect with them. I can't remember if it said they were, like, against them or, like, working with them. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the oh, WDO. Wow. And they're all, all 12. Powers specializing in investigative work. <laughs> That's how it was the process of elimination. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading. 
yeah, like the extra legal, like it's it's extra legal. So it doesn't matter what we do. We can murder if we want to. That's it's a okay, guys, because we got the approval from uh, from I don't know, freaking uh, Amaratsu Corporation. They train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Okay, is that the deed that lets us do whatever we want? Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective deed? It's an okay. identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, his little ears do move. Ah, how does he do that? Is it like a, is it robotic? <laughs> no, it's connected to my head. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one. I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Why do I kind of want to give him the ace voice? Oh, hold on. I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Okay, they just all met too? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Huh? The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. There's some kind of like big bad. They gotta come together to stop. Kind of like, I guess it could be the Amaretsu um, Corporation. But that was kind of how it was in process elimination. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? <laughs> you still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? <laughs> you haven't proved yourself either. How, how is that hat like usable? It just seems kind of like invasive, you know what I mean? It's like covers up his whole face. You have like scars he's trying to cover up? Well, actually, yeah, it does kind of look like he has scars maybe of his eye. Is that the point of wearing that mask? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this uh, perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Yay, intros. Okay, cool, now I can talk to all of them individually. Okay, what do you gotta say for yourself, old man? <laughs> what, how are you gonna clear your name? I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Damn, Presti is so, he has such a good range. I would never, never know that was him. <laughs> but wouldn't have seen it announced. Zange Eraser. Erase you from the map. Okay. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's oh. drink. That's how I live my life. Yeah, because you've done a bunch of evil shit, huh? Huh, Zonge? My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Okay. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. That seems like a really helpful uh, ability. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. It's something really sus, too. Can't put my finger on it, though. Bleh. Doesn't seem like he'll say anything else. <laughs> Interesting. Does seem very quiet. Maybe he won't be evil. Maybe it's too obvious for him to be evil. I wonder how he lost his eye. I don't know. I guess it could be like, oh, I have trauma in the past. I don't want to remember. That's why I'm erasing it. Blah, blah, blah. But it could be because if it does a bunch of evil stuff. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's talk to I'm this guy. I'm Apex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Okay. Oh, it seems like he has like a tattoo as well. Oh, well, I thought he had a scar above his eye. I don't see it too much anymore. Do we have one of those? <laughs> I don't think I saw that in his pocket at all. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. Okay. When I was a kid, 
I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Damn. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. <laughs> the trauma dump within the first, like, two minutes of knowing him. That's rough, buddy. I don't know what to say to that, man. <laughs> That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a <laughs> ship at the port. Jesus Christ, man. You tell this story to everybody you meet? He's like, at Starbucks, I would like a cafe Americano and also my parents, man. Their necks cut right in front of me, dude. I didn't know where the ship was Can I get going. a discount because of that? That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. What if I learn more about like what country he comes from? I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now. <laughs> thanks to luck. I know this isn't Danganronpa, but I feel like we could do like a Danganronpa drinking game with this. <laughs> like take a shot every time there's a trauma dump. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. Okay, Lei Yagami. <laughs> if I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Very stable. Very, nothing bad will happen to him. Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks oh, gosh. scary. He is so that's dead. That's not all. He is so, he's gonna be such a, uh, what's the word? Like, firecracker or just like, I don't know, unstable kind of person. <laughs> I feel like to be investigating with. I think there's a deep sadness within him. I, I can't share why, details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. But if you want, I'll give you more details about my parents' murder. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Not at all. You sure are a frail-looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's <laughs> got its claws on you. Oh. You sure nothing weird is haunting oh. you? Interesting. It's like you can already sense it before we even knew. No way. <laughs> a detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? Oh, Jesus. First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. Oh, what the we'll fuck? An ice pick. <laughs> what? Scissors <laughs> and a fruit knife. Let's move away from this guy. <laughs> let's, let's go to the next person. I want to talk to the little Chiaki girl. No, thanks. <laughs> I want to be friends with her. Don't be shy, runt. <laughs> No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> if I had to go through it, then everybody else does too. <laughs> too bad. Okay, I guess his radar is already kind of working though, noticing the ghost that's haunting us. It's like, we don't even know she's haunting us quite yet. Okay, furry, let's talk to you. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. Okay. Those like tattoos, a lot of them have those little kind of like purple markings. These probably is just like color tattoos. Zilch Alexander. I'm from the Southern Forest <laughs> Preserve District's Detective Agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Okay. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. Interesting. I kind of expected him to be more of a introvert. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Oh. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders <laughs> surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. Interesting. Is this where the extra legal part comes in? Uh, who could have done that? Oh, it's just beyond me. They found found some uh, ear hair, some wolf ear hair at the crime scene, but it's probably just a regular wolf, not, uh, not a furry who wears a wolf hat. Definitely not. It was a once-in-a-century <laughs> difficult case. The one who saw it. Okay, I thought he was doing it. <laughs> okay, never mind. I really thought he was doing it for a second. I thought it was like hurting the environment so he was like you know i have to have to take care of them if you know what i mean there wasn't much to it the culprits were okay. locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves 
The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. Oh. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. Huh. Uh, interesting. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Okay, so Nature's so mediator. He does look like a good detective. <laughs> but why do his ears keep moving? Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. Okay. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. And those sprites look so cute, too. The 3D uh, graphics look so good. God, I feel like it's come such a long way since um, Ultra Despair Girls. I feel like those models were a little <laughs> little rough around the edges. But man, I feel like, you know, the 2D sprites look really good, too. It looks so cute there. <laughs> a little cross-eyed looking down. My forte is animal investigation. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, can you, like, control animals or something? I can and, like, control animals with that? as yeah. I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Oh, I was like, please, can we possess like a cat or a dog? That'd be so adorable. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged okay. animals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. Interesting. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover mm. investigations. I feel like Persona 5 all over again. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now. Because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. With love, signing off, Zilch Alexander. He's so dramatic. <laughs> So dramatic, man. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. I always think when I look at Aphex, he wears a girl's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is a girl's underwear? He's still in his youth over his. <laughs> Some really complicated underwear. <laughs> oh, God. I don't really see how that is like. I don't know, helpful to him at all. The only thing I think of is that, yeah, it covers up like scars or something. I guess it could be like a helmet too, but I mean, it looks like a beanie. You got a bald spot you're covering up, bro? Thank you, Karuta. Hello, doggy detective looks cool so far. Yeah, I like him. He seems pretty interesting. Kind of different than what I expected. Honestly, I kind of expected him to be more of like a Chuni, you know, like a Gundam type of character, but he's very serious. Hey. He seems nice though. Me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. <laughs> Pretty woman. Uh. Why? Oh. Uh, huh. whoa. <laughs> what? Uh, what's going on? She's just a hugger. I'm measuring you. Oh. Uh, um. um. Oh, yeah. She had like a clothing one. That was her power. Something like that. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. <laughs> My name is Melanie Goldmine. Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. <laughs> it's like a Nepo baby or something. <laughs> Literally, my parents' last name is Goldmine. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Okay. Emperor ability being pretty interesting. I like her eyelashes too. A medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Oh wait, that's that's oh yeah, I think she could if she had like old people's clothes or like dead people's clothes or something like that. I think it might have had something to do with that. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person okay. wore while they were still alive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. And just checking your clothes, you know, for when you inevitably die. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. 
Okay. Overall, the size must match. This is a pretty useful ability, but she would have to definitely solve just like cases, you know, like cases where the victims were like women or I guess culprits were women too. I guess she could also, could she also see, yeah, like what a culprit did in those moments too, if she wore their clothes? Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion <laughs> sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. I could still do it, I just don't want to. It's just gross. sounds more like a preference than a condition. <laughs> yeah. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, Clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. I wonder how judgmental she is about, like, clothes being worn. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Mm. Hey, that was just for censorship reasons. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? I think we're all in uniform right now, though. Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. Okay, that makes sense why she was checking it, too. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Whoa, it's crazy. Am I one or not? <laughs> I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. Poor kid. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melanie. Nice to meet you all. She's so pretty. Okay, now let's talk to this girl. Yeah, I was like, I, feel, I kind of feel like it looks like, well, I guess you can't really see it too well from here, but I kind of feel like the little bunny looks like Asami. At least a little bit. An introduction. I forgot what the people on Twitter were trying to argue with about like why it didn't, but to me it looked pretty similar. Was it that Asami had like a flower? on her head or something like that. That was like the one difference. I don't know, it looks very similar to me. Introduce myself. <laughs> How does one do that? Are you an AI or something? A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> this is how I always am. <laughs> Rebooting. Did I do one, something two, three. that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. Her bangs are kind of interesting, too. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. Poochie. I was wondering, I was like, is it Pookie? Like, how do you say her name? I was so confused when I was making my video. I was like, such a strange name. Thank you, Finastro. We all know how much you like fashion, girl Sweeby. Thank you so much. And we know that those girls are never, never suspicious whatsoever. Always pure, pure girls. Girls, as I like to say. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Pooch, Poochie? So, your name is Poochie, then? Okay. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. It's like the Usami thing, just like bait for me to think that she's like, you know, AI or something. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. Because she is really acting like a robot. She seems a bit odd. Yeah. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Okay. My forte is known as audio aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, 
I'm unable to hear things far away. Yeah, that would be like overdoing. I feel like there was a character like that in like Code Geass who like, oh, I think he could hear thoughts from people, like everybody's thoughts around him, but he like couldn't turn it off. But I feel like that would be like, her ability would be kind of like that if she was just hearing like everything all the time. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of yeah. my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. Yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty hard to deal with for long periods of time. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Mm. Okay, let's switch up the headphones. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? I guess I could see how that could make her feel like inhuman almost. I guess it could lead her to acting more inhuman almost. Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. It, see, I feel like, well, I guess maybe oh. I'll look at some Usami pictures later. I mean, I feel like it's just an Easter egg or whatever if it is Usami on her head, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's some emotion. This part you are seems human. A bit more <laughs> normal. I guess yeah. It's probably just her ability that makes her act like that. Then. Okay, is that everybody? Okay, yeah. We talked to talked to Wolf Boy Lastly, again. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. <sighs> uh, oh, oh sorry. young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? I don't think that's really what would jog his memory. You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. <laughs> Oh man! Hold on! <laughs> Jesus! This guy's got one personality trait. Beat shit up! Apex, stop that! If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. <laughs> Jesus! The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right. I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Yeah, for real. Did something happen? Well. Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. Oh. The number of people? People disappearing? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was mm. precisely five. Oh. So wait, there's too many of us? Five? Five, six. One, Ooh. <laughs> two. I was kind of wondering, they're all accusing me of being an imposter, but I was like, what if one of them was an imposter instead? That would be a twist. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> and I'm the most suspicious one. There's six of us. Oh God. Yeah, do we even have an ID? I don't feel like we do. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence, oh, we're screwed. why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. Well, we got, we got Melanie, uh, Melanie Martin, <laughs> Martinez. Now I know it. I was like, why are they talking about Melanie Martinez in chat? I was like, now, now I'm doing it too. We got Melanie here. She's going to back us up right now. Our suit, our suit was like so fitted to us. So it's got to be the old man. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> This is getting exciting. <laughs> it's like a little face on his eye, too. Y'all see that? It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. Oh, um, oh my god. They did that on purpose. <laughs> not the, in the same sentence. It's not me. I know I'm sus, guys. <laughs> you guys get the reference? Think? How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. I don't know. Who would be the imposter? <laughs> Me always. I'm always like the old man. <laughs> Let's throw him overboard. Guys, it's got like two years left anyways. Come on. We might as well. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest 
be. I wonder, while well, looking right at me. It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. <laughs> Especially with my amnesia in this oh, situation. Oh, God, poor Yuma. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Damn, this isn't how you play Among Us, damn it. I'm supposed to know. All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. Oh, God. You may speak. I'll allow it. <laughs> Just gonna beat people up until I confess. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Oh, hey, okay. Okay, I was about to say the S word, but you know... Serve, serve Apex. We love that. We we stan Apex, huh? even though he tried to kill us earlier or stab us. It'd Not be kill. boring if it's the most suspicious one is the it, culprit. It, we need a twist, man. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? Hmm. To pretend to be a master detective oh. and replace the run on the train. Oh, makes sense. Look at that. The plan was going smoothly, but the runt suddenly woke up. Okay. He got Big on brain. the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. It'd be pretty wild if it was Zilch. I feel like, I don't know, I definitely don't think it's Aphex. I really don't think it's um, Melami either, or uh, Poochie. I don't know, I'm kind of down between Zilch and then the old man whose name so, oh wait no no is it what was his name it's like eraser something eraser the eraser oh thank you Cartman 94 emergency meaning beep oh press that the button surprisingly somebody. proper deduction and I thought you'd be the most useless one here why thank you <laughs> in other words I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me but I don't think I've been injured Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's okay. hear it. I'll allow it. It seems like she seems like the smartest one. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed mm. by the World Detective Organization. Okay. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member oh. and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh, that makes sense. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, we are We are in an anime game, so it could be the 12-year-old. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. Oh, this is when he shows his ability. What are you trying to do? I've never seen that in the trailer. For now. I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this! Hey, ability time! Superpower time! Let's oh, what's the thing on his hat? Simple or something. <gasps> Can't really get a good look at it though right now. Like a gunshot wound or something. I got some piercings there too. They all have different like symbols in their eyes. You know what I mean? What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. I'm gonna throw up. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Yeah, it does look cool when they show the forte. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. Okay. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything! <laughs> Use your own damn powers to figure it out then! <laughs> There's no mouse in the vicinity though, don't remind me! <laughs> Don't bring that up again. Oh, thank you, Jean Philippe uh, Hansens. Is Emery Azuma just Nike with Kirikiri's hair, making him their unofficial son? That's what I've been saying, man, since the promo stuff came out. He's always going to be Nigiri's uh, child to me. He just looks so much like them. I feel like his voice is even Nike, too. I, th I think it's the same voice as Nike. I see. 
Thank you for the donut, so by the way. Fortes come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Oh, yeah, I was like, you gonna make me choose? Well, I'm pretty sure it's hers anyways. Come on, kid. Um, Poochie, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeat. Okay, wow, that is really strong. Shall I try? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. <laughs> Bro, come on. She's using her audio aptitude oh, yeah. to check if there are other passengers. Y'all said it was Kibo's voice actor. Ugh, head empty, dude. I just, like, forgot. <laughs> Literally the last, like, 20 minutes when I said that earlier. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of interesting if she actually did detect something, like her power was better than his. Oh, he's gonna be pissed if that's the case. Shut up, you brain-dead idiots! Okay, look out, queen! Fuck him up! Pardon me. Would you mind quieting <laughs> down for a bit? I need to concentrate. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, please let me experiment. Please let me listen for a second. But y'all fucking bitches. <laughs> okay, I think this was in the trailer, or one of the trailers too. Ooh. Part of it was. Oh. Oh, cool. Hmm. This is like a mini game almost. <sighs> Yeah, her eyes are kind of like music notes, too. Neat. Oh, loading screen. Most of his belongings are made of fur. Oh, no, I didn't get to read all of it. Damn it. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think that's his supposed to be, supposed to be his ability. He can, like, share in their abilities. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Poochie, guarantee it. Okay. See? I told you so! Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, <laughs> I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... It, Aren't our powers kind of the same? I think I was honestly kind of thinking that during the trailer, too. I was like, I feel like their powers are pretty similar. I can hear heartbeats from 500 Ooh. meters away. It still means way better, loser. Fucking <laughs> loser. <laughs> so you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. Okay, that's true. One of them, an imposter? I feel like Poochie would have more ability to lie then, since she has like a better power. But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so... I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. Yeah, that's true too, and Yuma's able to like kind of feel like exact tell if they're lying basically, even if she uses it and she's like, yeah, there's nobody, he could probably feel the other heartbeat. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? <laughs> mm. What's wrong with yourself? you, old man? You gone senile or something? Oh my god, he's just like me for real, <laughs> Logan. Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. Oh man, is he like running towards like a cliff or something? Is that our challenge? In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. It definitely feels like that with like the, I don't know, the foreshadowing with like, oh, there's nobody driving the train. Also, it can reverse. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. 
Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. But what if we push? <laughs> it's always an option, man. My fading man. detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Like, look at that fucking sprite, dude. You tell me he's a good guy? Hell Not no. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? I kind of feel like it is Zilch, uh, especially if it's that thing where it's like, oh, one of them's like a WDO person who's like, you know, testing them. Well, I can maybe see that being Melanie too. I guess, or the old man, but I guess just because he was acting so like leader like. How maybe about that makes it, it too obvious. Four eyed fox detective. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. Convenient, huh? So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. If anybody wants to volunteer, though, just let me know. Show of hands. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. Hey, what's his ability again? It's photography. A sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. Damn. There's no end to this. To hell with it. Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Yeah, that'll that'll prove it, man. Yeah, just keep punching. Whoever passes out is safe. Got it? What? The <laughs> real deal. Don't oh pass my god. It, then you gotta be the imposter. This guy's a dumbass. He's not gonna be of any help during his chapter. Cause I think, well, I guess I'm not totally sure, but my assumption with this game was like we work with a different detective each chapter. Just because they all have different abilities and stuff, and I figure maybe we work and use their ability for like each case, but I guess we could use multiple, but he's not gonna be helpful at all, regardless of how they set up this game. He does not seem like he's gonna be of any help. Calm down. <laughs> Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Man, shouldn't Zilch have like a pet mouse or something so he could just like always use his ability? It seems kind of lame that he just like, not lame, but kind of impractical that he doesn't have, like, have one on him. Because like, yeah, what if somebody got murdered on the train? He's just like, well, sorry guys, <laughs> I can't really do anything, but like, that sucks for you. <laughs> just gonna chill, have a margarita hmm, or something in the corner. The motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would we need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. Okay. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. <laughs> okay, perfect strategy, Queen. Hold on. Did you just say that you... Just tried again? <laughs> I mean, who said that? Something the matter? <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> if I was like, yeah, try that strategy again right here in the train, girl. <laughs> It'll probably work. Totally. I solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Did you see what they looked like? Why would or Amaterasu not? Corp spy on you? Certified Miu moment. She does look a lot like Miu. <laughs> Got a big personality. Ward to be Similar personality so far, too. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Okay. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. 
I could see that being the case, especially since Amaterasu seems to be the main main baddies of this game. But I'm not really sure who among us among us would be that. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Okay, yeah, it'd be nice to know. I just remember them being like evil. <laughs> like the description page on the website. <laughs> What is the Amaterasu Corporation? Oh yeah, you know, it literally, <laughs> the back of uh, Logan's head, it kind of just looks like the copyright free like blood splatter, paint, paint splatter, that I use in like the thumbnails of my videos. Hey, look at that! It's like, I think I've downloaded that image before, that PNG. In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. Okay. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, mm. industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Jesus, like a total hold on the like this entire ward. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? <laughs> I didn't get it. Sure, I got it, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Just being polite, huh? Okay, about Kanai Ward. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? Yeah, I guess none of us are even from Kanai Ward. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I just assumed we'd all be like from there too. It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. Okay. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. They're just like completely controlled by them now. I saw somebody say, "Is Amaterasu Disney?" Yeah, basically. <laughs> but as it was being <laughs> pretty good comparison, by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. Oh, that's so creepy to think about that. Yeah, a company like that could just take control of an entire like region. As a matter of fact. Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. We're sketchy ass city. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved mm. cases. Interesting. This has been going on for years. But the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. How do they stop people from leaving, too? The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. I really mean, like, guess it could be an okay city to live in, but it seems really creepy. I would want to move. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, master detectives are gathering okay. in Kanai Ward. Explore what the hell's going on here. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Damn, that's so creepy too. Just the fact that like information, it's like not even a whole lot of information get out of there. I assume yeah, they probably are blocking people from like leaving or even kind of like talking about it. I see. It's just rumors. Thank Nothing's you very even confirmed. Much. Cause you know, like if they have freedom, they just go on Twitter and be like, "Yo, look at those armies sent by the Amaratsu Corporation. This sucks, man." Okay, about the Amaratsu. Ex Why are we? God, we can't even take a different brand train. Oh my God, they even control the fucking trains going there too. I guess no wonder this place is uh, empty. Nobody even wants to go here in the first place. I thought that was kind of weird. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes, the Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Okay, they don't even have passenger cars? <laughs> okay, yeah, they're definitely not letting people leave. <laughs> like, what do you mean you hate it here? It's Disney, it's perfect. It Happiest place on earth. It's space for all of us and a lavish dining car. 
quite the warm <laughs> welcome. Interesting. Trying to kiss our ass, aren't they? A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. Mm. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. How are we supposed to do Among Us? How are we supposed to do Among Us if we can't push people off of the train? Damn it. I was really, I was so ready to push off Zange. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Pucci, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Oh, thank you, New World Shalik. Glad you're playing the game. Are you gonna do an unboxing of the special edition? Also, again, love your content. <laughs> My special edition got delayed to like, I don't even know, I think it was like the tw the 18th or something. So I just canceled it and got a digital version. So I was originally gonna do an unboxing video, but I was like, man, I really don't wanna buy the game twice. And the main thing I really wanted was the plush anyway. So I was like, I'll just buy it separately later. But yeah, unfortunate, I won't be able to do an unboxing. Thank you for the dono though. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. You know, they already got like Disney neighborhoods. <laughs> this is all somebody saying Disney City. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? These neighborhoods are weird too. They're mostly for like Disney adults, but it's like the houses are all like themed after like the Little Mermaid and like Beauty and the Beast and shit. I was like, oh, it's weird. <laughs> but you can't access the fifth car. I mean, I guess if it makes the them end, happy, but. The door appears to be broken and won't open. I guess it's not hurting the people who bought it, but I don't know, it just seems a little, a little strange. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard hey, more sound detective familiar? Points. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. I think it's not going to reveal his ability yet. He seems yet. nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Oh. Huh? You heard that? Like a thought or something? Oh, no, no, it's uh, What's-Her-Face. Um, the little ghost. Ghost girl. Zange's cane. Use assist to, with walking, but... God damn, this goes too fast. Um, did <laughs> And what the speak? trivia? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. I guess it makes sense. None of them can hear her either. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. If like the lip syncing isn't too bad, at least it's not too noticeable to me. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Mostly because I just look at the, you know, 2D sprites when it's like these scenes. I guess it's only really noticeable to me in those scenes where it's like an actual cut scene. Front probably wants milk. <laughs> hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. It's like, nah, man, I ain't trying to get black, okay? <laughs> Can't you tell I'm 30 years old? Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. It was some milk and sugar <sighs> and some Thank cookies. You. Just for the little guy. I don't really know any 13 year olds that drink coffee. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? <laughs> Poor human, he's always sweating. Every time I get a close up of him, he's just sweat dripping down. Bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? <laughs> me. Oh, I can say who I think is the most suspicious. I don't. <laughs> well, we know. <laughs> we know what my opinion is, but I don't know if it's really that good of an opinion. I don't know. That's just my <laughs> my age phobia. Oh, I mean, like, look at him, man. You'll see his fucking sprites. He was like, he had no eyes. He was like the fucking FNAF characters <laughs> in FNAF 2. Well, I guess uh, what's her face has no eyes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, who do I actually think is the most suspicious? Not Apex, because he showed his power. Not Poochie, because she showed her power. I don't really think Melamy is suspicious, mostly because mostly she cleared me, but I guess she could still be suspicious. I, I guess it technically is still kind of me. I guess I can choose myself. I don't know, I might choose myself, although I know what my heart wants. 
I know what my heart wants to choose. I was like, I know what I'm supposed to do. Objectively, <laughs> the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think okay. about it, we have no proof of anything so far. I'm not totally sure if there was like a correct answer. I mean, I would assume objectively Yuma's the most suspicious, but you know I know. I know what I feel in my heart. I also do kind of feel like Zilch is suspicious too, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess it depends on the circumstances here. I think it probably is the Amatera Amater the Akamatsu Corporation, you know? Um, like that theory. Trying to like, I guess, keep us in place or like, I don't know, observe us or sabotage us. Cause I'm sure they don't want us. They're probably gonna try to kill us. Let's be real. I mean, ugh, they, they seem evil as hell. So they're probably trying to kill us. I could definitely see it being him too just because he's kind of taking on this like leadership role like oh we can all trust him and then he has like a really convenient excuse as to why he can't use his forte you know what i mean uh so i don't know maybe i could i could kind of see he might actually be my legit second suspect not just the old man thank you to best to best trio hey weeby just want to drop in and wish you luck with your detective adventures also fun fact you're wondering why yuma sounds familiar it's because he's voiced by lucian dodge aka kibo yeah i know i saw that i was like oh oh my god siri can you not right now i'm trying to i'm trying to stream siri i know i saw that i was like oh i love kibo so much it's like he finally he finally gets to be human if i really am <laughs> thank you for the donut detective. appreciate you I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Yeah, I want to get. I want to see her introduction. Hey, Rut. She's like, it was spoilers, right? She's like, yeah, it's totally. Uh, what's his face? The furry guy. Uh -huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his oh. powers. Okay. Uh, Zange? I forgot he said he was gonna do that. Okay, cool. I guess we'll... What do y'all have to say for yourself? Y'all gonna be like, don't tell anybody, but I'm the imposter. Oh, shit! <laughs> there is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. It'd be kind of interesting if he really just does not do jack shit. <laughs> like, we're the one to notice it. We're like, um... Old man's like, oh yes, I'm projecting my thoughts or whatever the fuck my fake talent is. Ooh, woo! <laughs> like Yuma's in the corner, like, yeah, I think this guy's lying. <laughs> I'm not just being age phobic this time, guys. I promise. Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? God, I really hope he does. Just like, <laughs> he really is just like BSing about his talent. He's like, ooh. I've no. heard someone has used photography to show the other side of the moon. Can you do that, Zange? Uh huh. Kinda remind me of a Celeste sprite there. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. He's like, oh yes, I'll show you my power. What, what was my power again? Hey kid, do you remember? <laughs> you remember what my power is supposed to be? Oh yeah, it's got like a camera on the back of his, uh, or like a camera lens, it kinda seems like. Back of his jacket. Okay, old man, prove me wrong. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. Please be fake, because that would be so freaking funny. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. <laughs> Zangaratsu Corporation? It's true. Look at this What's man. That? He's got an iPhone. You can't Cell trust phone? him. Quiet. Mm. Oh, is he like parrot with a phone? Hmm. Coincidentally, I can only pair with Amaterasu Corporation phones. Okay, I guess thing just looks like a... Aw, oh, man, it's real. Damn it. <laughs> we have these four days being boomer phobic. It's not my fault they always make them so evil. <laughs> I can feel Zonga using his forte. Damn it! No, you don't, Yuma. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop being delusional. But I guess he can just like download his memories and put it on like an iPhone. That's kind of. I mean, that seems really. Uh, I think it would be pretty useful. 
I guess, well, it would depend on how much you've seen of, like, a case, or... I guess he could also, like, see a crime scene, and then if it gets, like, messed up later, he could, like, report back and be like, Look, see? The crime scene does look like this. As I've or said it did before, look like this. My power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Okay. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Okay. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to oh. do ten. Damn, never mind. I don't know if this is... I mean, I guess it could be really helpful, but I kind of feel like he has the worst uh, talent so far. Or like, um, what was it called again? Forte? I mean, not worst, but like least helpful, maybe? Maybe worst is too mean also, to say. Also, as memories fade, the recorded mm. footage will also fade. I mean, I don't know, because it just seems like unless he can get like memories from other people, it's not going to be as helpful, because it's like... Is Ange just always there when murders happen? And that just makes him seem sus. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. <laughs> be kind of hilarious. He was like in the corner. He was like just literally recording. He's like, oh, yes. Photography. Wait, let me scroll really quickly. Uh, where's the image? Ah, oh, yes, the video. <laughs> this kind of seemed like a talent you could kind of fake, but oh, I guess we felt it or whatever. Everybody. Be constructive for once. You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? I wonder what the feather means on his uh, shirt. Yep, a detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young mm. man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. Is she able to possess his body? I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. Okay. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Pretty sure it was locked, which makes sense if this is owned by the Amaterasu Corporation. Am I still saying it wrong? Amaterasu? Is there like an extra T in there? I feel like there might be an extra T in there I keep missing. Whatever, I'm just gonna say Amaterasu for now. <laughs> but it kind of makes sense, I guess, if they're trying to kill us on this train that they were like, oopsie, who locked the infirmary? That's so weird. <laughs> who, it's so strange. Monitor. I don't know, maybe it'll unlock it. You've got some nerve. We'll see. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Poor kid. The Amaterasu coffee. <laughs> I guess it could be that. Ooh, it is kind of getting like dark and stuff. Now nah, I can I can have a little chat before I leave. Right. Come on, run. You you look like you're about to collapse. Go rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. I'll, I'll do that. I still don't trust that you have a talent, old man. I saw you recording that video with your iPhone. Hey. You don't look so good. It doesn't seem like an act. Go get some rest. Yes. Right. Thank you. Guys, it's very important I talk to all of them. I'll allow it. The infirmary's in car one. Go rest there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but wait, I gotta mm. talk to some more people. You look pale. Do you need any assistance? S sorry. No, I'm good. I don't need any, no, I don't need help at all. Oh god, I'm falling. Oh god, no. I'm okay. If you say so. Maybe you stop talking to everybody if you don't need help. No, I'm good, guys. Oh. I'm just, I'm just dying slowly. Will you be alright on your own? Are you sure you don't need someone to take you? Uh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> dying slowly. Oh god, oh god, I'm falling. <laughs> okay.
Okay, I can look at the map again if I want. I probably don't get any points for that though, right? Oh, that's all just one uh, thing too. Let's go to the infirmary too. It's still locked though, right? Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key. Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I Ew. see. I see. I see, I see. If an entire area of the minimap is shining, that means a destination or investigative object is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. Okay. Is that it? To find the key. I guess I'll start over here since Yuma's pretty slow. It's gonna be in here. It's not here. Okay. So it's not really showing the map where. It's this not is here. the second car. I was trying to get to the map, man. I'm trying to get to the map, man. Come on. It's a map of the train. Okay, first car. Oh, maybe it's in the restroom. That probably makes the most sense. In the toilet. Surrounded by poop. That'd be pretty gross. <laughs> I don't know. The Shinigami does kind of seem like a stinker. It's like, oopsie, I put it in the toilet filled with crap. Oh, it no. Opened. Now you gotta fish it out. Mm. Oh man, he is rough. Probably using the bathroom in general, anyways. It's all that Amaterasu coffee. Or, you know, the ghost possessing him. It's whatever. <laughs> oh god, that looks so scary with the eyes. It's like I'm playing Amori again. Poor kid. <gasps> you didn't even get the key out of the poop, though. Hey, it's time to get up. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boom kill you. <laughs> boom kill. <laughs> Droll. <laughs> That's bright. <laughs> Me in the morning. Huh? Oh, yay! Finally. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can finally see <laughs> cute little me. <laughs> it's all taking root. <laughs> she is so cute in this form. I wonder if people see her in her like a uh, pretty form, her like yassified form. <laughs> I guess I guess we could call it that her yassified form. She saw like a model and she was like, yeah, that's what I want to look like. She reminds me of, uh, I think it's Boo, right? From Mario. Boo, like the Ghost King. I think it's probably based on uh, him. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? <laughs> that's so fucked up. Well, aren't you rude? Ooh, <laughs> that sprite too. I haven't really seen any of her 2D sprites in this form. It's talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Her slave form. You're my master, aren't you? Yeah, right. Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that? Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound. This fucking girl. <gasps> Called of you after I offered myself to you and you. Jesus alone. Christ! Oh God! You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> A lot of her sprites do kind of remind me of Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> With it. <laughs> of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. <laughs> I am in two forms now. You and don't have to for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Okay, so he sacrificed his memories. Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Hey, you're so much cuter than Ryuk. <laughs> death god sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. Let's just do the Japanese word. Makes it sound more kawaii, right? Okay, thank you, Grant Rupert. New game, woo, I'm in a new house. Got an interview tomorrow, have fun all. Oh, wow, good luck on your interview tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by, I hope you do well. Thanks for the donation, appreciate ya. 
Let me uh do this. There we go. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. <laughs> I'm just so tiny and petite. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. She's just a weeb like me, guys. That's why she wants to go by Shinigami. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Foster. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like he probably got tricked into the deal, but... I guess we'll see. Either he got tricked into the deal or he's like secretly evil and like, I don't know, like a Nepo baby of like the Amaterasu Corporation or some shit. But I don't know, I guess it's just me always wanting to predict that like, oh, did you know the main character is actually the evil one at the end of the game? You keep calling me I just like that's such a common trope. Wait, are you haunting me? I feel like I'm usually right when I predict that too, I guess. Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yep, yep. Of course, I'm 100% mm -hmm. haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish after all. It's why we made that contract. That's the benefit. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Offered? <gasps> you mean... <laughs> oh you no. You really got it? You offered your own memories. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. Your entire personality. That's it wasn't that good anyway. I have amnesia. The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. I guess it could also be like he knows he needs Shinigami to solve the case or whatever in order. I, I don't know. So he was just like, ah, it's worth it to give up my memories. I wonder what else you could potentially give up. I guess you could give up like loved ones and stuff, but I could see why you'd want to give up your memories instead. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. <laughs> Not. <laughs> which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? I like the song too. A little ghostly song. Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Oh, that sucks. Why not? Tell me. Kind of seems like a cop out. No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? <laughs> Girl, fluffy. During You're that like... <laughs> time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. There's a lot of sprites for her character. I think there's a decent bit for all of them. But man, hers, I feel like especially, she's got the most sprites. Or like, I feel like I've seen the most like unique sprites for her so far. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. Hmm. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. So if you die, then I die? Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Man, I was out for two hours? Dang. Oh, can I look in here? Uh, it's a door to a private room. It's not locked, and there doesn't seem to be anybody inside. You good? Um, you sure you don't want to open it up to check? Maybe a homicidal maniac is hiding in there. <sighs> um, there's no way. I already used those abilities earlier. How dare you? Okay, I guess I can't do the other door. I feel like I'm just going to be doing all of these. Just to get these points. Hmm. Huh? Um, why are you staring at the mirror? Are you the type of guy who admires himself until he dies of heartbreak? <sighs> I can see it in the mirror and I can hear its voice. It's not an, uh, not an hallucination. <laughs> Man, what was in that coffee, dude? <laughs> you still didn't believe me? <laughs> Lame. I never heard anybody call a toilet a private room. Smoke? What's going on? Oh. It's me! How mysterious! Oh what? my god, it's just like Eden's garden all over again! I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. 
All okay. I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. I wonder how far a radius is. So what ah, happened shit. here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks. And I guess it could be okay. Maybe it's not like gas, what? but like just. Uh... Is there a fire? <laughs> yeah, fire? something like that. So it's burning. Ah, now I'm getting mm. excited. Excited? We have to do something. <laughs> She's like Ryuk for real. Oh my god, this show is getting interesting now. Are all you death gods like that? What's going on? <gasps> From the infirmary? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? So please wake is up. Is he seriously Soach. dead already? Jesus Christ! How did he get in there? I, I gotta help. Master, look! Oh my god! Surely he's got like a pillow on on his chest, right? The knife's in the pillow. Oh good one. Good one, Zilchi boy. Way to way to prank me like that. You're so what a goofy little guy. What a goofy guy, right guys? No way. Da oh shoot! <laughs> I don't think it's a prank. Man, he was like my fucking favorite for the- <laughs> They changed it to a Melamy fact. They're like, yeah, you don't need the zilch facts anymore, dumbass. <laughs> Holy crap, really? Oh, now he's what? bald, too! <laughs> Holy fuck! Damn, it was so quick, dude! Seriously? Oh, man. Oh, man. I wonder if he is, like, secretly evil or- There's gotta be something, though. I feel like- Kanaka doesn't like to kill off characters this quick unless, like, you learn about them later. So I'm wondering how important he's gonna be later? Unless... <laughs> guys, now there's some way it's psyching me out, right? <laughs> right, guys? Oh, God. I'm already to Lulu. What are we? We're not even two hours into the game. Why did this happen? <laughs> there's no time to rest. If you're a detective... You know what to do. Man, oh, this totally kills my plans of investigating as a cat later. Damn it. Dude, ever since the trailer, I've been like, Zilch, that's my boy. <laughs> He's my favorite one. Fucking. Huh? <laughs> I mean, like, I wasn't, like, too connected with him. Because, you know, the game just started, but still, Jesus. Bing bong, ding tong. A body's been discovered already. Thank you, Cartman. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Oh god. Sir, no, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the dono. Body. This is furry phobia. Really dead by checking the body. Girl, I don't think I don't think we need to do anything. Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know <laughs> that I'm a detective. It's like, man, I didn't, I didn't need all this drama. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. So get to it. Oh my god. I'm really <laughs> doing this. Are you my dude? Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> oh man. He's burnt to crisps, man. I really don't think we need to check the body. <laughs> you know, for a second, I was trying to be to Lulu, you know? Like, oh, well, you know, maybe, like, you know, you can see that he's, like, whatever. <laughs> Should we read his profile in honor? <laughs> in honor of our boy Zilch. <laughs> Died too soon. <laughs> he's still smiling. He's not smiling anymore. We can change the sprite for the sake. <laughs> like a traumatized sprite. Oh, GG. Oh, it's not even on here, actually. Oh, they- <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's fucking real! <laughs> Damn. One of the master detectives Yuma met at the Amaterasu Express. He is fastidious, conceited, and- God, really? With a tendency towards leading the conversation and moving things along in a logical order. He was found dead. <laughs> in case you forgot, Weeby. Burnt to a crisp in the infirmary and the car won with a knife protruding from his chest. Who did it? Well, y'all all know who I want to say did it. But, I don't know, man. I guess maybe Aphex? He's always talking about stabbing people, but he's probably too obvious. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's just start it. It's completely charred. 
He's not. I was like, <laughs> I'm just in complete Delulu land. I'm like, guys, you can't make him out anymore. Like, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. It could be a generic NPC we haven't met yet, you know? Like, come on, guys. This is obviously a setup, a fake, a fake death. I'm calling it right now. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. It's Junko. It's always fucking Junko. That's so true. No uh. movement. No breathing either. <laughs> I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. It is interesting to me that uh, you can kind of like, you could see his hair and his face before, but afterwards it all just became charred. You know what I mean? A knife is still lodged in the chest. I can't tell if I'm just being Delulu, though. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? It just feels like so soon for a death. Dead, without a doubt. That's so kind of charred, after all. You really didn't even <laughs> need to check. <laughs> wow, why did I even suggest that? <laughs> kind of a bitch move. <sighs> No, come on, check his pulse. Come on, <laughs> give him a little hug. Make sure he feels cold. Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. <laughs> Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred Jesus. corpse. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. I have to look away from the chat. I've seen a lot of messages get deleted. Um, guys, okay, I've seen you spoil, or your messages get deleted twice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and time you out. I don't even know if it was, uh, spoilers, but I'm just gonna assume that's the case. Honestly, mods, if y'all just wanna time people out, or even just ban them for doing spoilers, especially if they're doing multiple spoilers. Right. I have to tell okay the others me. about this. Mm, I smell a case. She is so excited about this. Okay, um, I guess we can look at this. This is... The fire extinguisher I used is on the floor. Looks like it's mostly empty now. Master! You open the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse. Up, cl up and close and personal. Yeah! Did we already check the corpse? Or should we check it again? No, yeah. Okay, yeah, it has a check mark by it when you've already checked something. That's nice. Sometimes I do kind of feel like these games. We had to check stuff twice. <laughs> It's the AD from the infirmary. Using this on Zilch now probably won't help. <laughs> no, yeah, come on. Come on, we should destroy it just a little bit. Come on. I mean, are you positive he's dead? I mean, we'd be still kind of convinced that uh, it might just be a dummy. You want to use it on that human charcoal? If he did come back to life, he wouldn't be happy about it. <laughs> like, no, I was so, so beshonen before. I had fangirls, damn it. This medical equipment from the infirmary, I don't know how to use it. But even if you did know how to use it, there's no saving somebody that crispy. How much did he got me? I know. I can see his ghost right now. The guy was charred black before he even got into the room. I was watching the whole time. Okay, I think that's everything in here, right? Cool. Okay, I guess we can just go talk to the other detectives, right? I don't think there's gonna be anything else in the cart. I guess we'll see. Huh? Oh, sh what the f- Who was- No! Not the hot girl! Are you- s <laughs> Were these all just fucking fake detectives that they t promoted in the trail? That's such a fucking Kadaka thing to do. Oh you gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? Oh my- It was the old man. <laughs> It was the fucking old man. That's such a fucking Kadaka thing to do. It's like, here's a trailer with all the detectives, Weeby. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I saw any of these motherfuckers anywhere besides on the train and the promotion. Did I just get got? Did I just get got by Kadaka? Are they all dead? Oh my god. No way. No fucking way. Is she controlled again? This has to be a dream, right? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe it's a nightmare. <laughs> you, you do this, girly? Please, I want to wake up. I can't take this anymore. Oh, poor Yuma. He's so upset. Like, why did I have to end up in a fucking game made by the Dong and Rampa character creator? So pitiful, you know that? <laughs> Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? What? Oh my God. Oh, anyway. 
friend or foe? Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. <laughs> look at me. Look at how cute and squishy I am. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend, and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. I'm starting to wonder if she fucking killed I don't them. get it! <laughs> Why would I make a contract with a death god? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> Am I high right now? That's gotta be it. Shut up, you're trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you've got! <laughs> what the hell? What can I even do? Poor fucking Yuma, dude! <laughs> That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet! Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Oh my god. They all just, the, whoever it is, just decided to burn all of them too? What a weird way to kill them. Now stand up. Come on. Okay. <laughs> guess we'll just, I guess we'll just do another one. <laughs> this is chapter three already. What the hell is this? Right. She's completely burnt to a crisp. But I recognize what parts are left of her face. Man, they like, I guess it burned through her fabric to her skin. Jesus. I guess they used the alcohol, maybe, to like douse her. There's no pulse or breath. Was that Amaterasu no coffee? She's been dead for a while. Maybe that is what. Oh, you know, that probably is what knocked them out, because that knocked me out, too, I think. At first, I wasn't sure if it was the coffee or if it was, you know, the ghost. Like, I don't know, her possessing my body made me, like, sick or whatever, but. It did seem like it was right after the coffee. It's like right after I got sick, everybody was like, hey, let me get some coffee too, buddy. There's a bottle of liquor <laughs> Nothing weird about it. Maybe that was used to start the fire. For sure. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are wheeling them in. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. <laughs> beginner's luck. I got it worse than all the Danganronpa protagonists combined so There's far. I'm lucky about this at all. So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. Just lit on. I, that's such a fucking awful way to go. How, like, how strong is that, like, uh, stuff they used on us? Like, the drug? Because I can't imagine burning to death in your sleep and, like, not waking up from it. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Oh, yeah, she's not bald like Zilch. <laughs> it's just. Though you just got unlucky in that aspect. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? Like nobody's forte was related to like fire, I don't think. Um, thank you, Will of the Wisp. Literally never make the live streams, but I'm excited for this one. Thanks for playing the games when I can't weavy. Oh no problem! Hope you're enjoying it so far. This is crazy! <laughs> this is literally insane. And thank you, Crocomancer. A massacre on the Amaterasu Express, basically, dude. I can't believe this. I'm really starting to think I just got got. Either that or this is fake. But I don't know, it just seems so Kadaka to be like, look at all the cool detectives in the trailer. Can't you choose your favorite, guys? And then it's like they all die. There are empty liquor bottles all around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melamine have been set on fire with this? <laughs> alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of the meat after all. Yeah. And I was like, honestly thinking about it, like I really don't think I saw them anywhere besides like all their promotion was just that one scene that we already did where they like um you know were uh okay i was like the coffee i know it was you coffee how could you betray me like this i've always Jesus. stand you there are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf could they have been used to set melanie on fire yeah that's right and she was literally flambéed with some pricey looking liquor oh my god can i try some <laughs> You're not gonna judge me if I eat a little bit. Come on. I'm, I'm kind of as cheating on me as we gotta eat too. Okay, don't judge me. Not a bad way to go. I'm definitely gonna be judging you, you sick fuck. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> who's next? Who wants to place their bets on who's next now? Uh huh? Did he oh. just shake? Oh shit! Are they in the middle of dying? Is it we got got the little girl and then no i liked logan man he trauma dump on me for no reason i hope he lives at least he's my next favorite character we're gonna walk in he's gonna be like fucking charred to the crisp oh god uh oh uh oh he didn't even look at the coffee what was that? The, <laughs> the lights light went flicker. out for a moment and came back on. 
Sus. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. <laughs> we on that fucking Demon Slayer train right now? Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? <laughs> if there's any of them left. <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> yeah, they're totally alive, right? <laughs> they, they wouldn't all be dead, right? <laughs> right? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> we're so fucked. Oh god, is it Pookie next? Oh god, it's probably her, because I think it was Melanie's little trivia fact last time. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> hey! Is anyone there? We need help in the first two oh cars! Oh god. Songe! Pucci! Apex! Oh Jesus, come on. Apex, just live through this. Anybody! You're my new best boy. <sighs> no response. Oh. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. <laughs> this is just like the Demon Slayer Whoa! movie. One mystery after another. <laughs> I can't hold back from all this excitement. She do be very Monokuma coded. Like, yeah, it's a murder, a slay. <laughs> I'm the one telling people to slay this time, Weeby. We have to find the others right away. Oh my god. I'm getting excited here. Oh shit. <laughs> this game looks so good too. I can't. Come I haven't really gotten. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on, Detective Wimp. What do you think you're doing? Go over the second car. You gotta see Pookie's corpse. If you, even if you don't want to, Weeby, get over it. There's no one alive in there. You're supposed to go check car three now. There's nobody alive in here either. How many cars are there? So I kind of want to see if there's gonna be like a dead body per it's car. A map of the train. Map of the train. So we found one. <laughs> it's really perfectly lined up. So there's a fucking dead body in every car. Yep, I just wanted to double check that I was picking up on what was being thrown down. Okay, who's in here? Okay, Poochie, I guess you're dead. <laughs> I fucking- <laughs> Poochie. Oh, Is it really? No oh my god. And that's number three. Who is doing this? It's that fucking old man. Logan would never. Maybe he did want to stab us, but I trust him with my life. You better be more prudent. Huh? The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Shit. Which means whoever killed these guys is still on the train, right? Are the fun facts literally predicting who dies next, too? Such a thing. It really seems like it. You better nail it, master. I've learned nothing from my last two investigations. I'm just like, whoa, well, there's a fire I'm hydrant. Safe. Cool. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. <laughs> slay, I guess. Yeah. Somebody slaying. I haven't even told anybody to slay yet. Oh no, we can take our little stuffed bear. <sighs> this is. This big teddy bear might have been Poochie's personal belonging. <laughs> He better be careful, Master. It might suddenly start going. <laughs> Poo! I don't. I don't trust this bear. Actually, I think this bear is the culprit. I don't <sighs> fucking trust bears. It's just a teddy bear, as if something strange could. <laughs> Nothing strange has literally happened this whole game. Come on, give me a break. Man, I just got a bear and a bunny. Sketch, Poochie. Well, I guess you're dead now, but whatever. Oh, there we go. This is. There's a set of cat head ear headphones. Poochie must have had a lot of headphones. Hmm. She never took off her headphones, even in front of people, right? How rude. Let's not speak ill of the dead. She literally just died in a horrible, terrible way. I'm sure she had her reasons. Aw, that was fun though with the Monokuma reference. Trolley bag. Let's see what's Is in this here. Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. Kind of interesting. There's like a lighter and like a lighter flu I'm sorry, fluid. Sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. It's a wash then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so hmm. I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? We're not getting any clues. Poochie. <laughs> Poor Yuma. Master, let's move on if you're done oh, here. God. There's no time to waste. We gotta get to the other drains. You can see right. your other favorite characters Where's dead. And Apex too. <sighs> Fucking Zonge is gonna be the only one to live through this shit. I hate you, Zonge. It's Poochie's corpse. Oh shit. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She looks horrible, man. Oh, the little zombie pint. 
too. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. Are you sure about that, bro? She's fucking burnt. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Damn. Yep, it's a corpse. <laughs> yep, I don't know if you caught that, but it was definitely a corpse. <laughs> Hope you got that, buddy. Okay, <laughs> got it. Anybody in here? Oh, hey, there's like a suitcase. Just gonna start seeing who's sus now. Whose room is this? Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Mm. Is it okay for me to look inside? Some murder shit in here. You're a detective. Why even ask? Come on, Apex. Please be alive, dude. I swear to God, if the loading screen for the next train, we get an Apex fun fact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. <laughs> Didn't you hear we're extra legal? That's too much. Notice. Hmm. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Okay. Dear Zilch Alexander, oh. you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanai Ward. Okay. Dispatch duration indefinite. Seems pretty similar to our note. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. I sort of think these little, you know, notices were sent by the Amaterasu Corporation. Upon arrival, proceed Just to the Nocturnal it. Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a well, letter for Zilch, so this must be his bag. Something got eliminated from the world. <laughs> but it was, you know, Zilch himself. The only things inside are work documents. Nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. I wonder why I didn't die, though. Because, I mean, I was in just, like, a similarly vulnerable position. Would it be... Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Would Aphex be suspicious? Because he was the only one who noticed that I was being, like, haunted, right? Because the only reason somebody wouldn't kill me, I think, is because they sense that, like, I'm being haunted by, like, you know, a powerful Shinigami. He was the one to notice that. Well, let's be real, Zange's ability shit. So, <laughs> I don't know if he can... I mean, I don't know if he can do that much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Can we, come on, can we please open up the bag? Just a little bit. Animal prints. Is... Oh, pfft. Oh my god. This looks like something like a 50 year old mom would have. It's a glasses cake with animal print on it. There's nothing inside. Really? The cheetah print? <laughs> the cheetah print glasses case, Zilch? Okay, I probably shouldn't be speaking ill of the dead. This probably belongs to Zilch. Right. He was the only one on the train wearing glasses after all. Okay. Clothes brush. This is. It's Zilch's clothing brush. There's some fur stuck in the bristles. Then... And maybe he was a clean freak. Not that it matters. Now that he's burnt to... <laughs> now that he's fucking dead. Zilch. My bestie that I knew for five minutes. But he was handsome. And a furry. So I liked him. Oh, yeah. They're... Oh, no. His little cost. They even had splash art, dude. They literally had fucking splash art. Like, that's what's bugging me out right now, too. Because I remember that. I think he was wearing this coat and the splash art. It's like, surely. Surely they won't die within the first hour. This isn't a passenger room. The sign says backup control. Okay. Can we go in? Interesting. Wow. Kinda it scary looks like a secret base. Creepy Don't looking. Wanna destroy these whenever you see them. <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> There's no one here, so I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that later. machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay. I won't break it. Is there gonna be like a video footage or something? Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new. <laughs> just smash it. Oh, intercom. Interesting. Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency, press the button and speak into the receiver. Oh God, somebody's gonna. <laughs> the fucking old man's gonna get on. I killed all your friends. <laughs> I was sick of people hating on me just because I'm old. Yeah. Fucking and bitches. Now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. <laughs> Y'all still, still, still mourning <sighs> Zilch in the chat. It I feel you. Connect? Why? If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. If this hmm. system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. They don't give a shit. Maybe. 
Everyone in Control Headquarters is already dead. And you're the last living human in the world. OMG. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> kind of a dick, Shinigami. Control device. Hmm. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch it. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause a train to derail. That would suck. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna die anyway, so who gives a shit? You know, it's whatever. Monitoring device. Oh, you can look at multiple things. Oh, a route map. Are we in the Kanai Ward already? It looks like we are. Interesting. They send people the to kill map. us when we like land. The shining part must be the train's current location. Unless, oh, I guess Connie Ward might be the white dots. We're just like right before Connie Ward. It looks like we're stopped. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Connie Ward uh, in okay. no time. So that's what it symbolizes—a tunnel. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping <laughs> detective. Literally napping while everybody's faves got killed. What's this machine? Way to be there selfish, to Coco be Head. Backup control system. Control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. This one okay. is the backup, not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? Okay. It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as oh, programmed no, and drive the train. It kind of looked like we were stopped on the map. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Okay. Right now the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. I don't know if we need to stop it, I guess, right now, but probably later. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while well, you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. <laughs> so it has to be one of us doing the murdering. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Does it mean the main one is messed up? Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. <laughs> Let's move on already. <laughs> Truly just like Ryuk. Come on, make this shit interesting. Move on because you're bored? Just like Ryuk for real. Okay, is that it for here? I think so. Oh man, oh god. In the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. <laughs> you better go check the next one. Uh, it's gonna be Apex, I just yeah, know it. You're right. I just know it. Let's go to the next one. Oh god, no, please, no Apex fact. Please don't, please god. There's. A, I don't ask for much in life. I don't ask for much in life. But don't, don't let him be in this train car. Don't give me the fact. Don't give me the fun fact. Yes, it's a donkey fun fact. Slay, slay, slay. Um, is anyone there? I don't totally know if that's a thing, but it seems to be the trend so far. <sighs> you know, I can find in my heart to forgive Apex if he did this. Watch out. I was so certain it was gonna be a zong or not a zonge, an Apex fact. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's torn out bed. There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? Okay. Who's is this Apex's room? Maybe. Kind of looks like a jacket he wear. Maybe. Be. Yep, it's nothing. <laughs> He's got some booby magazines. Oh my god, is Junko gonna be on here? Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. Eek. There's a pro wrestling magazine. What are the hot angles? What are the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. I kinda wanna see if I could see Junko on there. I feel like that would be a fun Easter egg. Uh, Who does this jacket belong to? It looks like something. Yep, it does kinda seem like his room. Man, Apex, you kinda seem in sus. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. 
Um, if we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. Okay. I think it's probably him. Oh, tissue. What the fuck was that? Was that just her, like, reflection or something? This is... There are a lot of tissues on the table. Maybe you can't turn down free samples when people hand them out. <laughs> That's a little sus. <laughs> oh, yeah, so many reasons for why somebody would keep tissues next to a bed. <laughs> yeah! I was thinking the same thing, sir. <laughs> you know, just let him... Come on, stop stop shaming him. What are you implying, Shinigami? Don't shame him. Let him... <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. Yes, my boy lives. I mean, oh no, Zonge. No, not the old man. Does it really mean Apex did it? It really. He he just did not seem like the culprit to me. Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? Is he just doing it for money or something? From the Amaterasu Corporation? <laughs> She's so fucked up. <laughs> She's kind of like me, actually. Because <laughs> I choose to play these games. <laughs> this is all wrong. It's like, yes, slay, Apex. Oh, shit. Really? Man, I am so shocked. I can't believe the fun facts were getting at who died. I feel like it's actually confirmed now, though, at this point. Sange. He's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. I mean, unless I did this, you know, I was, like, napping. You know what I mean? I just don't remember some shit. But, like, I don't know. Otherwise, it seems like Aphex would be the one who did it, you know? I feel like he does because he, like, grew up in the slums and stuff. So maybe he's just, like, poor and he, like, needed money. And he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've already decided. I just want to give him the ace points. Oh, yeah, I'll kill some blokes. To get some money, mate. Why is he? Why is he Aussie now? He's burned to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. I'm sorry, Zonge, for disrespecting your death. I just really liked Apex, okay? Oh yeah, his phone. Maybe we could find his phone he and see what happened. He was incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilch in the first car and Poochie in the third one. Damn, man, you can see his like. Burn wounds through it, like that burn through a shirt. Ugh, but all three awful. of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation. Oh, mm. what's this? Yes. Okay, man, I was making fun of your talent too. <laughs> it's gonna be the only one that actually—I mean, not Zilch as uh, Zonge, only one that actually comes in handy. Zonge's cell phone. Maybe his photography left something behind. No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. It can't help me solve this mess. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so crazy. That's four of them. Who could have done this? <laughs> Let's be for real, bro. Who is left, homie? Who? Oh, wait. wait a oh my god. I just remembered. I just remembered. I gotta turn there with the brain six cell. There people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. But the only one left is... No way! How did how did you think of this with your big brain, Yuma? Fix? Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. Eh. Oh, I also was like roaming around the bus, you know, or train or whatever. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Aphex is the culprit? <sighs> is it too obvious? The others in such a deranged way? Is it too? Uh, is it too obvious? I don't know. He's got short views, so maybe it was a crime of passion. I don't know. I lied about being a master detective. No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him use his powers. You sensed it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Where'd she get that from? Where are you even hiding that? You got a little ghost pocket? But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. I don't know. Now I'm starting to think it's too obvious. Is it really us? Or could it be like Shinigami? Or it, there can't be anybody else in the train. We used our powers. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho. Oh my god. You're totally about to say that. Right, Master? It, not at all. If he <laughs> finds me, I'm done for. I'm oh, actually gosh. surprised you haven't died yet. You look <laughs> like you'd be the first to die. I mean, you're definitely the easiest one to kill off. I won't deny it. I 
probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? Maybe that's why the killer didn't find me. What are they, scared of restrooms, bro? How does that make sense? I don't know. I do, I feel like it does kind of make sense for it to be Apex, just because he could potentially, like, if since Shinigami was protecting him, that's the reason why he didn't kill him. <sighs> oh, I just remembered. Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the <laughs> restroom. But one time, the door did open, I think. <laughs> I think. I think it's the only present or some shit. Closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short fuse? So he let me go? Why? Because <laughs> you're so adorable, Yuma. He was like, oh, I can't. I can't kill the Nagiri child. <laughs> He's so adorable. Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. Almost like an incompetent detective, ba bam chang That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. <laughs> now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll beat him up for you. Actually, I'll face through him. You can do it, Coco Head. Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, oh, Master. Jesus. What am I supposed to do? It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Oh, poor Yuma. Dude, I'm fucking dying too, because like I went to MomoCon recently and I like met Pros D for like a, you know, like one of those like little fan meeting things. And I was telling him, I was like, I'm so excited for your character in Raincoat of Master Detective Archives. Cause I was like, he looks so suspicious. I bet he's gonna be so important. Blah blah blah. And Pros D just like was like, well, I can't say anything. Or like he was like, I'm not gonna say anything about it. I was like, I bet he was fucking dying on the inside. <laughs> knowing that he like his character died within like the first hour and I'm like man I got so many theories about the character you're playing at it's gonna this be fucking like epic Sengis bag. There's <laughs> oh Jesus that matters. <laughs> okay there's probably nothing Jesus. here but we'll see this might belong to Zonga they look well used so they could be really old say. oh why don't you look inside the notebook there might be something about the case <laughs> It seems we records of past cases he handled. Man, he was really just a chill guy with his little succulent plants, and I was hating on him the whole time. But there isn't any information about this current phase. I'm pretty sure Pros D plays Zonga, yeah. He's a really, uh, he's got a really good range. So yeah, I say pretty sure, but I literally talked to him about it. <laughs> oh, that's just me for you. Always double guessing stuff. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you think this would look slay on me? <laughs> I think it would. It's a woman's travel bag. I thought he voiced actor at Zonge. Oh, somebody's saying they voiced a different character. I, I feel pretty pro positive. <laughs> it's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melamy Goldmine. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. It's like gaslighting myself all the time. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah, no one's here. You sure? Mm. Oh, he's hiding in the bag. In the bag? Even a child couldn't hide in there. Hey, why did you try? You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child, but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. You sure mm. about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. Hmm. I don't know, man. That just sounds weird. <laughs> this is... There are women's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to the belong to Melamy. Yeah, that's right. And there, there's some flashy thread. She definitely gets some looks in the city, but now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> so they're free to so they're free to go to me now. I think. Melamy, why would she have to die? This is. There's a pouch with cosmetics on the desk. Oh, is it Detective Conan? Is that the reference? This must belong to Melamy. But she'll never use it again. Oh, he voices someone else? I thought he voiced this character. I'm just a, so I'm just an idiot who was like, I can't wait to hear you as the creepy old man. Who does he voice then? Are you serious? I thought it was this guy. Man, he was just being nice to me if I got the voice wrong. She'll never use it again. Well? 
You shouldn't probably make it up to fresh burns after all. Yeah. Oh god. I feel like he's gonna be dead too, but we'll see. I don't know. I just like I feel like it's too obvious for it to be him. I thought it was that old man. Man, I'm so stupid. It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Which Y'all can stop correcting me in chat. I get At it. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. We're almost there. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... But you can access the fifth car, mm. the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Is he really gonna be in there? I guess we'll see. Oh, it hey, is open. It opened. Was it repaired? Oh, no. I think he's dead, too. I see the ash already. Unless he was, like, fighting with them, and then he, like, threw them somewhere else. This looks bad. It's been wrecked. What yeah. happened here? Master, look over there. Oh, he oh my Siri, who the fuck did it? Well, a dead body. Well, his looks unrecognizable too. No Wait, there can't be a fifth corpse. One of these corpses got to be fake. Because right? That would mean everyone <laughs> except me is dead. So mysterious. Even I'm getting confused now. What the hell, dude? Anyway, time to investigate. <laughs> She's so chill. It's like whatever. Yuma <sighs> is just like me for real. I would be like, I cannot believe I killed all these people. <laughs> I don't even remember doing that. This isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? It is without a single doubt the bona fide remains of a human. Him and Zilch's list look just so, like, unidentifiable, you know what I mean? Especially his, because we didn't even... I mean, like, this one really could be a dummy, I feel. I mean, I guess, like, maybe we'll touch it or something. At least, like, Zilch, we saw what he looked like beforehand. But this one, like, we just see, like, you know, a burned-up corpse. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses, after all. Maybe I'm just full to Lulu, I'll but I don't know. I don't trust it. I'll check signs of life, just in case. <laughs> I feel cushioned. No, he's completely dead. He did have the necklace, but I mean, that would be so easy to just plant on like a fake dead body, you know? Huh? His necklace looks familiar. Would the necklace really not be affected by the burning at all? I don't know much about that. Wait, it's the same one Aphex was wearing. Looking at the body type of the corpse, it matches the guy with the short views. His face is burned beyond recognition, but... Could this really be Aphex? You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Hmm. Wait, there's an injury on oh. his chest. Oh, interesting. He got hey, stabbed too? I'm surprised you noticed. Damn. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. He was the one who brought like a blade too, right? If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. I can imagine they would stab him after burning him. It doesn't really seem like it would make sense. Oh, you've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job to me for being your mentor. But why Aphex? I'm so confused. Is this whole thing like a this test for me as a detective? Like, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? His body got moved too. Interesting. Huh. It's like another infirmary as well. It does kind of look like pink blood a little bit. I guess we haven't really seen too much blood since it's like burning, but yeah. This is... The bed of the infirmary is burned and flipped on its side. Hmm? 
Why is this, why is only this bed turned over like this? Um, maybe it's hide the evidence of some kind. It just a hunch. Huh? Hey, there's a fire extinguisher here. Huh? Maybe someone noticed the fire and tried to put it out? Mm -hmm. The hell? Um, I wonder. Why is it the same scene that happened on the first, uh, the first one? This is... There's an AED set up in the infirmary, but there's no sign it was used. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. No point in using it on someone who was burnt to a crisp. <laughs> this is... There are medical devices here, just like those in car one. Hey. This train is unmanned, right? If there's no one on the train, who knows how to use this sort of device? Why even have one for real? Fucking weird, dude. Oh, door key? Almost missed huh? that one. What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Look, there appears to be blood on it. Oh, the blood's red? No! Hmm? So wrong. Oh, you Let me try to slide it. That's hmm. a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? Okay, so it's in the locked part, so the bloody thing happened when the door was locked? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Sure hope you got all that down. Anna. Cannot believe this dude. <laughs> oh gosh, I guess main control room. It says main control room B. It's no use, it won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? Break the glass with, like, a fire hydrant, maybe? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Apex and Poochie both said that there were only six people on the train. So, Literally including confirmed me, it too. there can only be six of us here. Hmm, I see. I don't know, I kind of feel like... <sighs> One of the bodies has got to be fake, right? And I feel like that person maybe is just like testing us? I don't fucking oh, know. Why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Okay, oh. is that why they're identical? Well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car too. Okay. Ugh, gosh. It won't open. Hmm. But this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here. Wouldn't just lead outside, right? Okay. I think I've gotten everything in here, right? Yeah, done that one, done that one. That one doesn't work. Hmm. What's this? I think I already did everything in here too, right? Oh, wait. Do I do the door key again? No. Wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna tell if it was green yet. I don't know if I've done everything in this room, now that I think about it. Yeah, the restroom. The restroom oh, shit! <laughs> Somebody had, like, a really the big fight in here. And covered in soot. There's no one inside. Hmm. I think these guys are even on the cover art for, like, the case. Like, they're on the front of the cover, like, Kadaka really dedicated trolling. It's trolling that much. Okay, there's nothing really to investigate in here, I don't think. It's a big-ass battle. But not important, apparently. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like... <laughs> somebody's gotta still be alive. One of these is just a dummy. I feel like it's either Apex or Zilch. Maybe I'm leaning towards Zilch, just because he seems more... Like, smart? To pull something like this off? And then, like, what's the point of this? Like, I don't know. I was like, Sumi, it's kind of a stupid theory, but Sumi was like, would there be some, like, stupid, like, training? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the part of me that's, like, wants them to be alive. Well, no, it still doesn't make any sense at all. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I could, like, the master detectives, they wanted to train him, but there I think it makes more sense if it's the Amaterasu sure. doing yeah, this, you know, and they're just trying to stop us. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of skipped through that dialogue. I didn't mean to click it. Ah, whatever. Let's just keep investigating. Huh? That's Overall, weird. I think it's probably Zilch this or area seems more Apex. Burnt somehow. They're the most suspicious. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. 
was I gonna say? Maybe two people killed each other? But that doesn't even make sense since they're all in different train cars. It's like somebody had to move them. Unless, I guess, somebody did it and then they committed suicide afterwards? I guess that could be the, I don't know, one of it. Like, one of the, um, whatchamacallit, um... One of the possibilities. Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? Okay. But why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. Hmm. So check in here. It says main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Okay. Uh-oh. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct <laughs> to Kanai Ward. Ding, 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 ding! A body has been discovered! Oh wait, it was like five bodies! <laughs> we are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing now. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? Uh, who? Besides me is dead. <laughs> Literally. Are you sure it's everyone? <laughs> Calm down and count again. <laughs> count Search again? In car one. Melanie in car two. Poochie in car three. Zonga in car four. And Aphex in car five. Oh, Jesus, he looks messed up. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. I guess, like, Melanie was, like, in pretty decent shape in comparison. But I feel like it, we checked all the bodies, right? To make sure that, like, um, whatchamacallit, that, um, everybody was dead, right? That makes you the only possible killer, Master. <laughs> Did you do it? I, wow, what a twist. <laughs> no, that's not possible. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's Maybe something I am. wrong with me. Maybe I have gone crazy. Maybe I did do it. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. They all just combusted one after the other. Maybe subconsciously. Oh shit. I. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Be kind of wild if we uh, didn't ever like I'm. Um ever discover who, like, uh, whatchamacallit, like, who the culprit is for this. We just find it out later. Are you serious? Oh my god! I guess so! What the hell? I guess... I guess... Huh. I don't know. I kind of feel like... I don't know if I have a great reasoning for it, but somebody does kind of feel like it was Zilch. Like, who killed all of them, then he set himself on fire. Right? Because everybody else, like, the fire had already gone out. So I think it makes the most sense for him to be the culprit, but I guess we're just not going to find out. I, 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 <laughs> huh? What? Get off the tr- Oh, shit! Step out of here. Run. <laughs> Guys, I swear it wasn't me. It was the dog guy, probably. <laughs> I mean, it does kind of seem like a case Master, that would get solved later. Holy shit, we look suspicious. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Poor Yuma. Oh, God. Run! Fucking run! Ah, oh, gosh. In. We gotta go! Uh oh. I wonder if oh, my God, I have to die to fight them! <laughs> oh, shit! You might find yourself in a pinch. During the course of detective work, follow the on-screen instructions to get out of those tricky situations. Look at me, I'm a child! <laughs> the muscles of Sohiori. doesn't make mistakes. But there is a time right. limit for input, right. so be careful. Right. Oh god, I gotta try to remember these. The freaking Switch and the Steam Deck have like, I don't know. I feel like some of their buttons are like opposite meaning, so I get kind of confused sometimes. Oh god. Okay, just follow the prompts. Okay, oh! Okay. Why? B, A, A, B, no, B's down. A is this one. Who are these people? <laughs> the police? Uh, it feels good. I hope I hope nobody in this game is blue. I don't know why, but that choice in Danganronpa always drove me insane. They're not your friends, that much is for sure. Just all much people. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. But... 
poor kid. A, B, Y, X, A, B, Y, X. <laughs> Trying to memorize these. I don't play Switch games that much, honestly. Oh! Yeah, fucking shoot him, dude! Uh, hey, oh shit! I did B, damn it! Ah, uh, damn you, Steam Deck! Ah, uh, having opposite controls! Oh god, oh god, oh god. I die already? Damn it! Ah, that's so good! Uh. Okay, it's fine. We just oh. redo it, right? Okay. Okay, A, B, Y, X, A, B, Y, X. I knew this was gonna fuck me over one day. Cause yeah, like select is the opposite. It's like B for the Steam Deck. So like I can get confused sometimes. <laughs> when I was playing Process Elimination, I did that all the time. Yeah, they're gonna arrest you. Run. Uh, L. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, L down. <laughs> Who are these guys? A B Y X. <laughs> like I'll remember that. Many products are in development. So much cannot be made public. Oh, okay, yeah. I was never actually gotten to. It's no, too soon. <laughs> too soon. Treasure small panda applique. Applique. Hmm. Looks like you're done for. Ah, uh, man. Wait, please listen to me. Oh, we get to see what all Materos people. Huh. Maybe that one What's guy. What's that to talk about? Yeah. You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't you? Jesus. The name's Swank. Those Kinsenau. teeth. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's peacekeepers. Peacekeepers. I'm also from New York. Don't piss me off, kid. Oh, money on his teeth? Oh my god, I just saw that. <laughs> money. Gold jack. Is it made of real gold? <laughs> Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers? Okay. Don't act like you don't know. That's why they look more like a... Uh, the detective for crying out loud. Vigilantes rather than like police guys. Or... Are you some sort of imposter? <laughs> I can't believe I can't with his fucking money teeth. <laughs> oh my god. I think his smoke from his cigar makes like the yin symbol too. That's cool. That's a neat detail. I think. You think? In money. Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. About to get killed. Which is? <laughs> um... The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. If the unjust wander into my space, they will be eliminated. Ooh, ooh, the new smoke cloud. Eliminated? Uh, um, uh, doesn't mean what I think it means, right? Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Is there even any police here? Is it just the peacekeepers? Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh my god, is that a toupee? All right, you're the only one who can see me. <laughs> Thanks to our contract, master. <laughs> it looks like he has one part of hair growing like right here and he just like kind of like molds it over the rest of his head. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? Laugh, help me! I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talking to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. All the dead people to train. I promise I didn't do that either, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. What's even the point for killing the others? I feel kind of strongly that it was Zilch who did it, but like, what? I don't know. What would be the purpose of that? Just to set me up as a murderer? I mean, I guess he could have fake killed himself, too. But, I don't know. I feel like it makes sense, too, if he did just, like, honestly kill himself. Or, sewer slide. Ugh, God, I hope YouTube doesn't get upset with that. But, um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, would he really do all that just to frame me? Because it's working! We prepared that train to welcome you all here. 
an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. Don't worry, I looked at a suitcase once and there was, I don't know, like, <laughs> there was like perfume in it. So I have worked it all out, sir. I know exactly what's going on. You're the culprit. Huh? Oh, well, God. that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. Oh, shit. Do I gotta fight him? No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I think he promised. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. Look at how small I am, though. I'm just, I'm too tiny and petite to do that. Look at how cute I am. There's proof. There's the coffee and wine. Hmm. Oh, that is what knocked them out. What the? The wine, too? Interesting. We found coffee and wine in the dining room. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow. He may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. Mm. He could be trouble. <laughs> Man, even you didn't figure that shit out. You're supposed to be a detective, aren't you? That's crazy, Yuma. Okay, I think it's been a while since I've read some of these, um, <laughs> read some of these donos. Apologies. Thank you, Toon. Who like Kanadi on the stream? <laughs> so true. Thank you. Love you, Weeby. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Hope you didn't get attached to those characters. Ah! I got about as attached as I could. Hey, Peanut. What's up, bunny? And thank you, Kuruta. Apex is innocent. He did nothing wrong. I'm honestly starting to think so. I think it might have been Zilch, honestly. Thank you, Casina. No self-intro trauma dump was his only chance. <laughs> well, it's a good thing he got it in, because it truly was his only chance. And thank you, Angrius, for becoming, or uh, for being a Kinjo cult leader. Wow, for seven months. Appreciate ya. Thank you. Okay, let me just, uh, I was like, wait, I feel like it's been a while since I've read those. Why you just gotten so too into the game. So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? Hmm. Even, um, what's his face with the stab? How cruel of you to kill him like that. That's just sick. What's your end game in this? <laughs> is it money or is it money? If it's money, then hand over everything you swiped. Oh my I God. I promise I'll show mercy. To your wallet. You just want money from me? I'm like 13, bro. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're no, I. I'm Come on, not go the Super Saiyan Yuma. But do I know that for sure? <laughs> just like me for real, I would be gaslighting myself right now. <laughs> like, am I positive though? Maybe I did do it. That's crazy. I'm so sorry for doing that. He's <laughs> like Butters in South Park. In this situation, who Checking else it. besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train. And five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! Murder, suicide. you're the culprit. What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I... For you, <laughs> Come on, confess. <laughs> They're just pressuring so much. Confess. Oh, <sighs> no, don't do it. Maybe it's better if I confess for now. It could be better to get through this now and no. get some time to think about it, dude. Why confess if you <laughs> didn't do it, Pastor? You're an idiot. Don't kill you! Yeah, for, for real, you're still innocent till proven guilty, dumbass! Don't confess! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. Are people saying Swank is hot in chat? Are y'all... Are y'all okay? There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! <laughs> he probably does look really crazy. Bring him down, men! 
confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. I can see what y'all mean about the lip sync now. <laughs> He's still going. Oh, don't sound so pitiful. I'll show you what I'm made of right now. Come on, master. Your mind and body are ready. Oh. Oh, we're doing this thing already? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> now the fucking Sailor Moon transformation. Oh my god, look at me getting into slay mode. Yes. <laughs> she do be looking pretty slay. The jiggle. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I wonder how much she'll be cosplayed. <gasps> oh my god, you're hot! What is this? What's happening? Oh, everybody got paused too. Neat. I didn't expect to do one of these so quickly, honestly. I guess it makes sense for like a prologue. We're still not even in chapter one, right? This is like the prologue. Man, this is like a Kingdom Hearts 2 prologue. It's like hours and hours long. What's up, little guy? Oh my goodness, I can't see him, but Peanut's with me. What's this? What's going on? Ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait, you're Shinigami? Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy <laughs> anymore. Well, I can only her, access too. the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puppy. It's true. Want to touch? <laughs> I'm good. I'm <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? This is pre-prologue? Oh my yeah, god. Major. Come on, let's go! Wait, you have to tell me! What's a mystery labyrinth? Save the deeds for later, Cat! I do wish they would have lined up the lip sync better. I'm just trying not to look at it. I'm surprised we had to play one of these though, because I remember seeing that guy um, in the trailer. Okay, save current progress. Let's go ahead and do it, just so I can kind of like have all my memory of everything that happened, like fresh. Okay, let me, um, I think there was another one I saw. Thank you, Cartman94. Finally, Mew became Sailor Moon. I feel like that other girl looked a lot more like a uh, Mew. Um, Melamy? I guess, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, because she's fucking dead, but yeah. <laughs> oh man, but uh, I can see what you mean. Is she, I guess, like, is um, the Shinigami voiced by me as voice actress? I could see that being the case too. <laughs> we finally made it. Okay, yeah, we're still in chapter zero. So this is like a pre-prologue. Oh my god. World detective, extra legal, extra privileged. Still want to know what that means. I cannot believe they're dead still. She reminds me a lot of uh, Junko, her design. For like human design. The Sphinx of Death. <laughs> It'd be like that. I feel what? you, Yuma. Where am I? What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? I like that he has a cape. An alternate universe. Hey, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! 
You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Okay, it's just like a mystery. I was honestly expecting it to be like a palace, like in Persona 5, like based off of each, like, you know, evil character we get. But I guess it wouldn't be that similar. Mysteries? Or, you know, they shouldn't make it that similar. Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. If for reasons, don't ask too many questions. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? Solve the mystery. In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Okay. But those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Yeah, it seems like a lot of mini games. Hold on, I, I don't understand any of this. I can see it, yeah, kind of being similar to Somnium too. Seriously, you don't get it? <laughs> uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze funny. based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. This song's kind of interesting. Here I'm saying something in the background. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yup, you totally get it! What? I don't <laughs> get anything! This makes no logical sense! Are we gonna really be doing like all of our investigation here? Because yeah, I feel like our investigation on the terrain was like, nothing. <laughs> Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for a second. <laughs> That'll make all your worries disappear. Jesus! No, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Ah, uh, sorry. I <laughs> forgot to mention the important keys. Okay. I think I do remember him using like a key. It was kind of like a, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, uh, I'm gonna kind of remember, like, remind me of like Kingdom Hearts. I even have the key for the little, like, uh, dialogue too. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. Get them as we, like, go through it, I guess? So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kind of had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. <laughs> yeah, your investigation was kind of shit. Trust me, next chapter's investigations are a lot better. Okay, For starters, that's good. Try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. I figured this one's just kind of like a tutorial almost, you know what I mean? The Amaterasu Express? Uh, the Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. Yeah. It's an automated it's unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. The train's AI killed them. 
got him. Got it. <laughs> there were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. Actually, that little robot in the lost and found, he's the culprit. Big brain. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. <gasps> what the fuck? Girl. What? Throwing up, gl so throwing up glitter? You throw it up? <laughs> I don't want to touch that. New key, map. Okay, cool. <laughs> Can you clean that off before I touch it? Room map. Okay. And then operation log. Oh, is this like truth bullets, basically? Oh, uh, that makes sense. Crew log. The train did not stop once after the departure. Should probably look at these later. So this is a solution key. <laughs> but why did it come out of your mouth? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, let me look at um it's in the case files? Nah. Nor. It's like I wonder if I there's like a place to look at the solution keys. That'd be nice. Oh. Okay, cool. Slay. Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Oh, I barf it up. What happened in this case? All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> Poor Yuma. At least you got a cool little cape. Look at you. It uh, matches your glow in the dark. The scene. incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Okay, testimonies of two detectives. Aphex and Poochie's fortes proved there were no other passengers besides the six people inside the train car. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. First, I mean, I feel like he died last. I mean, I guess what we did here is some kind of movement, I guess, when we were walking through the train. But just the fact that, like, all the other ones were put out, you know what I mean? I feel like implies to me that, like, the one we put out was the last one to die, you know? I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Man, him and um, Aphex were literally killed in the same exact way. So weird. Huh. The infirmary was on fire, so... Smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mmm, that's no fun. You never even figured out where the key was. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Okay, new key. Zilch's corpse, discovered in car one. It was burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A flambe. <laughs> Freaking Shinigami. New key. Melamy's corpse, discovered in car two. It was burnt to a crisp. But the face is still barely recognizable. Yeah. That reminds me. Something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Yeah. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Oh, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after. Mm -hmm. Although it only lasted a moment. Was that when it like switched to like the backup electricity? Because it said the backup was running, right? So my assumption was that yeah, the main power like went off and it switched to that one. Yeah. What was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel, too? No. I think so. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. Okay. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Does that mean it wasn't Silch, then, who did it? Is that theory of mine wrong? Was there really, like, one person who faked their death? Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. New key. There was a blackout and a shaking. When the train car entered the tunnel, there was another shaking. When the train exited the tunnel, so like, um, Aphex's power was like, what, like, 50, was it like 50 feet or like 50 yards or something? 
And then um, the little, like the girl, Poochie, um, her power was like 500 meters or something. I wonder, because I feel like Apex's power would be able to detect like a fake or like a dead body, but um, the girl's power, Poochie's power, wouldn't be able to. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe the dead body was just like, like if somebody faked their death and the dead body they use as a replacement was just like um, out of his range to detect and then she didn't detect anything because she didn't hear a heartbeat because that's the main way that she detects if somebody is like, el if somebody else is on the train, you know what I mean? So it could be that somebody yeah, faked their death. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah. Yeah, it was Poochie, another burnt body, just like the first two cars. I feel like Zilch's would be the hardest to do that with if it is like a fake dead body just because like we saw him and then like we didn't see him <laughs> you know what i mean let's put like a wig on them and stuff i mean maybe but i guess i don't know it still seems to be less likely than i guess some of the other ones thank you louise medina for becoming a kinjo cultist appreciate ya oh yeah wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car you mean the backup control system i remember something about that the control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will yeah. switch to the backup system after one second. Okay, yeah, so that does explain the light. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? <laughs> Her facial expressions are so goofy. I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Okay. Backup control system status was operating, but the main control system fail. So that doesn't kind of imply to me stopped, that somebody... So it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, so that does kind of imply to me that somebody was alive and maybe faked their death to, like, switch it? For some reason? Why would they, why would they even need to switch it? I guess we'll see. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. His was still pretty identifiable, especially since he still has like the eye patch on or you know, whatever it is. So I feel like I feel like he's pretty safe to not be the culprit, even though I have been memeing on him the whole was time. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for mm. his photography ability. Dude, we didn't even check that. God, Yuma, why are you so stupid? Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> that was what I said too. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Oh my god, she's just like me for real. Aren't you supposed to be probably like thousands of years old or something? Yeah, but I look hot, Weeby. That's what matters. But yeah, I feel like it. I was like making fun of visibility, and it's probably like the most like useful one for this case. Zange's corpse discovered in car four. The entire body has been burnt to a crisp. Zange's forte created this recorded image. It was saved in the cell phone and found on his corpse. She was the one who gave me, uh, Melamie was the one who gave me the coffee too, which is kind of suspicious, but at the same time, I'm not really sure that I have any other reason to suspect her otherwise, but I guess we'll see. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell yeah. who it was. His body is so sketch though, because like I feel like his freaking necklace should have more damage on it. It really just feels like he burnt a body, then took his necklace off and put it on. It was like, okay, sweet, now they'll know it's me, or oi, now they'll know it's me, mate. <laughs> no, that means I can't do the ace voice if he is dead, so I'm but just gonna choose to believe he's alive. The corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Yeah, literally just like Zilch. I don't know, I kind of feel like it has to be Apex or Zilch just because like, it's so weird to me how like their murder is like exactly the same, you know? It just feels like the only difference is like somebody moved Apex's body from the bed to like the hallway, but they both got stabbed. It both seemed to happen in the infirmary since there was a bunch of blood in there in like Apex's area and then we found Zilch in the infirmary, so kind of seems like the case. I don't know. The burnt corpse, thought to belong to Aphex, had what appeared to be a stab wound in its chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, 
The fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Yeah, it seems like to me where it started and then it kind of went down towards me, you know what I mean? Like maybe they just didn't have time to kill me because like two hours was already up. They're like, oh shit, now he's going to wake up. I can't take on Yuma, man. That guy's a monster. He's so swole. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. The plate identifying car 5 was burned and distorted in an unusual manner. Yeah, that was weird. Don't really oh, have a reason for that. And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Yeah. The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spattered on the interior lock. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's report, they all burned to death. Yeah, even though those two of them had stab wounds. But that part seems off to me. Fucking sketchy. The victims all burned to death, according to the Peacekeepers. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. There's a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. Dan, Dan, oh God, not again! <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> we don't need to see all that, girl. What a big catch! This should be enough solution piece to solve it. <laughs> oh my God, her outfit is really good. But I still pretty slay. Don't know I how to say so myself. That. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. It truly is important, okay. too. A solution key is a manifestation of clues related to the case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story sure along. Sure, hope you got all that down. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking out if a mystery, checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a little card. It's so cute. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, SP, which you can get when you, your detective rank increases. Okay, I had a feeling it was something like that. Okay, cool. Hey, master. Do you need a power up? <laughs> hey, master. Uh, labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the abilities section of the notebook menu. Okay, it's like a little tree. Oh. That makes sense. There's a bunch of RPGs that do that too. A acquire skill, set skill, remove skill, remove all skills, move tab left, move tab right, move to explanation, start, move to explanation, end. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires a memory cost, so pay attention to how much you have left. Okay, cool. I wonder how many points I have right now. Probably not that many. <laughs> I'm gonna try to investigate everything I could, but I don't feel like I really uh, did too much. We kill mis clear mysteries, so just press A to do everything, and then X to get rid of anything I don't want. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Why are you walking so slow? Really turn out fine. Is she hunching her back? I <laughs> see. Why is she walking so slow? I was expecting her to run towards it or something. Oh no, peanut. Why are you sad? Peanut just been crying a lot. Peanut, come here, buddy. He's sad because mom's streaming and dad's working, huh? Huh, Peanut? So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny okay. for mysteries right now. <laughs> Does look kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of that one palace in uh, Persona 5. You're... what? <laughs> da -da 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 and there are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move until one scene plays out. So keep following the path until it does. Okay. Might want to save really quickly. Oh yeah, solution keys. I definitely want to look at that too. I'm gonna take a quick break and go to the bathroom and get some water. Click and save, right? Okay, cool. And I will be right back. You guys can chill with my Kaide plush or something. Oh, it changes to her when you're in the mystery labyrinth, I guess. That's cool. 
You guys can look at the chair too before I decide to get rid of it. This will probably happen soon, honestly. Okay. Say hi. No, Kaide, stop dying. Don't do that. Okay. There she is. Okay, let me just mute everything really quickly too. I will be right back, guys. So somebody saying this it's four hours for the prologue? Oh my god. Are you serious? That's crazy. Man, I was kind of like wondering. I was like, should I stop it here? I was about to ask. I was like, how long is the I was like wondering if anybody knew how long the labyrinth was. So I was like, would it be better to stop here? Cause I probably can remember everything pretty well. Since like I said, I was like, I plan on streaming the rest of this on like Saturday or Sunday this week, and then I don't know, I'll kind of decide, I guess, if I want to stream this game once or twice per week, but it's like, yeah, it's already, it's already been three, I guess. It's already been three? Really? Dang. Really? <laughs> I guess so. Dang, you're right. It's already been three. Wow. <gasps> Maybe I should just go for it this. then. In solution keys, you can review the info of acquired solution keys. Um, enlarge, image, move, exclamation start, exclamation end. Okay, it's pretty easy. Thank you, Ither. Hey, Weeby, first live. Can't stay as I join late, but we'll definitely see you in the VOD. Love your content. It's what I watch most right now. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the VOD. Um, it's five to six hours long. <laughs> so you're like two hours for the labyrinth. Labyrinths take a few hours. Okay. Yeah, maybe, I'll, maybe I will do the labyrinth uh, on Sunday then or Saturday. I was probably gonna have a poll or ask you guys, what streaming day do y'all like better, Saturday or Sunday? Cause like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people say Saturday, but then I feel like a lot of people are busy on Saturdays. They got things to do, so you know, they don't wanna be streaming. I feel like Sunday is just like a chill day, so that's usually when people are like, just hanging out at home and they're like, let's watch a live stream. There's stuff after the labyrinth too. Yeah, okay, we'll just go ahead and do the mystery labyrinth next time then. Oh. Sorry to take a break right before I decide to, to take, to stop streaming for today. But we did three hours, it's pretty good. 
And I was like, if I was waiting a week, then I feel like I'd be more like, let's fucking go. <laughs> but like I said, we're only gonna be waiting a couple of days, so we'll do that. Okay, see, a lot of Saturdays, a few Sundays. Like I said, I was thinking about doing a poll. Sunday's church for a lot of people. I guess, I just thought I did it late enough to where it was okay. But I guess a lot of times people do like family events on Sundays too. That's usually what my family does and what my boyfriend's family does. But we'll see. I'll probably end up still doing Saturday because I think that was fine for process of elimination. Um, I think most people liked it. I think it also kind of like might be better for people in like the EU and other countries or time zones just because like I know one of my mods, she lives in Australia and she said that Saturday was better because Saturday for me is like Sunday for her when Sunday for me is like Monday for her. So it's really bad. <laughs> so I can see that being the case too. So probably Saturday then since a lot of y'all are saying that. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks guys for coming by. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I can't <laughs> I say I can't believe it, but I can believe that Kadaka trolled us so hard with these detectives. <laughs> I'm just completely flabbergasted that they all fucking died. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Dislikes modern... Bro, you got an iPhone. What are you talking about? Dislikes modern cell phones. My ass. What were you doing with an iPhone then, bro? <laughs> no, I did like Apex, though. I kind of hope he's a murderer, just because I think that means he's still alive. Uh, I guess we can read these later too. I can't believe we got goofed on, but at the same time, I'm like, that's so fucking Kadaka. Once it started happening, I was like, yep, that we got trolled yet again. Yet again. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much. I will see you on Saturday probably. And yeah, I'll keep working on my Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video as well. And I hope you guys enjoy that as well. It's been kicking my ass. <laughs> Quite a lot, but it's been a lot of fun too. But uh, thanks guys for coming. I hope you're enjoying this game so far. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Let me get this. Of course, technical difficulties. Okay, now bye. Bye.